grateful that you took out the time from your busy schedule to come and you know become a valued jury today. So let us let us have a huge round of applause for all the members who joined us. I will be calling out the jury members one at a time to collect their token of appreciation. And for that, can I please have Advocate Agarwal and Mr. Gulati on stage to present the members? He is skilled in negotiation, account reconciliation, accounting, income yes. tax, and internal controls. He is a strong professional with a management program focused on public policy yes. in his field of business. MBA from the Westrop School of Business, Boston University. After his education, he served corporate in the Greater New York area, and in 2007, he came back to India and established the Millennium School, now known as the Learning Park School. He's currently serving president of Thai Chandigarh. Let's have a huge round of applause, please. The jury member is Mr. Manish Jawad, founder and CEO, Gracer Technologies, director, Chandigarh Angels Network, vice chair, NASCOM Chandigarh and Punjab. As the CEO, founder of Gracer Technologies, Mr. Jawad has been living the tech dream. Post his master's in computer applications from Punjab University, he has an enriching skin with Co-op Media House as a product manager. In 2004, he took the risk to set up Gracer Technologies. Today, Gracer Te Let's Venture and a founding member of the Chandigarh Angel Network as well. In 2011, for his achievements in the software arena, Mr. Johar was awarded the prestigious Asia Pacific Entrepreneurship Award for Most Promising Entrepreneur. Thank you so much for being here, sir. Last but not the least, our last jury member is Mr. Ashok Mehta, Managing Director and CEO of Embrace Automotive Private Equity, Ashok Shats, and a first generation entrepreneur in the automotive industry with over 29 years of rich industrial experience in manufacturing automotive yes, potential and drive train parts. Mr. Mehta is a chartered accountant by qualification, a strong believer in the diversification of business over the past 29 years. Thank you so much for being here, sir. and Krishi Samsar at 12.50. They are very particular with the timing. Maximum time limit you have is 11 and a half minutes. The timer here, Nimisha and Taj, will give you a signal the moment you cross half time. And this 11-12 minutes also include the questions that in this device, if you want, you can come two minutes before to understand how it would be functioning. And Tushar can assist you with that. So maybe one representative from each team can come on stage while we're still settling down. Sure. We have between us very esteemed principal of GGDSD College, Dr. Ajay, Ajay Sharma. Can you please have you on stage, sir? <laughs> Dr. Sharma will be felicitating our chief guest of the day, Mr. Anike Dover. Yes. Sunday having the program and having presence of so many students and uh, teacher, it's a great uh, matter of satisfaction for us. Uh, I formally welcome Mr. Ankit, uh, Aniket, Dogar, Manish, Robin, Sahil, Ashok. I don't know as well as how senior they are. So, I have Canadian style me see the name of the and uh, my faculty members and uh, dear students. You know, a small step lead to the beginnings and later on the stories also, success stories also. And 
Last year, when we opened up the college in October after the COVID, we started up uh, this journey of uh, incubation and entrepreneurship, taking very strong steps. And uh, particularly, we were worried that whether the campus will be opening up or it's again going to close and what is going to happen. Uh, it was a great um, tension for all of us. But this time when the start session was starting, we said, no, we have to change the gear. So let's uh, be more uh, focused, let's be more committed to the cause of entrepreneurship and innovation. And that's why we requested uh, Fraser Valley India and the consortium of business mentors and advisors, uh, let's do something together uh, which can have significant impact over a period of time. So it's a beginning, I believe, uh, though it um, uh, appears to be the last day of the uh, entrepreneurship uh, weekend, but I know programs really start after the end of the programs. Here, you know, impact of such programs are visible after some time. When you really find out that out of this some seeds were there and later on that become big trees and you can have the fruits maybe after uh, a year or two years or so. But certainly it's a well -being. Certainly uh, uh, having a focused mind on particular aspects. Our teachers are also learning, students are also learning. And uh, hopefully we will be having a few success stories in the college also very soon. And uh, again, uh, though I have not attended most of the sessions because of administrative and admissions duties these days, but whatever feedback I am getting from the uh, students also, teachers also, they were praising about the uh, mentor one-to-one -one sessions also. And uh, the way the organization is done, the professionally handled everything. So I'm thankful to the organizers who have uh, spared uh, their time before the function also, during the functions also, and made this a grand success. So congratulations to all of you, and keep uh, this good work going. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now, without wasting any further time, let's have the first team on stage. I wish all the participating teams all the best. And a very important announcement, irrespective of the results, we have a token of appreciation for all our participating teams. So please do stay back after lunch as well. Thank you. Good morning, all of you. I am Rajat Kumar, co-founder and director of Ansa Smart Waste Management Private Limited. As our company name suggests, Ansa Smart Waste Management Private Limited, we are doing work in waste management technology. So we are creating a complete decentralized system in waste management. So we are creating a complete decentralized system in waste management technology. So the problem statement, what problems we are tackling is the problem we are tackling is manual segregation, unhygienicness, the and the main and big one landfills. Uh, we know the landfills of Dattu Majra in Delhi, we know the hazardous gases around there, landfills and the unhygienicness. Uh, expensive transportation, which we waste from one place to another place, which is the expense transport, lagte hai, there is a long process usme. And the customer segment over is uh, residential areas like societies, army camps, universities, uh, etc. So this, this is our customer segment. And what solution we are providing? What we are providing? Basically, we are working on a scientific theory that we have two different kinds of material. Their size and weight doesn't match. But if we cut them in same size, then we differentiate them with their weight. So we design our product that like you can see our product in uh, uh, scheme. It is 4 by 4 feet. It's not a big machine. It's a simple dust wheel like we use in uh, uh, our universities and all our uh, MCs. So it is full, fully automatic. We don't do nothing. We, we do just wrap all the mixed waste, all the solid waste in housing, all the kitchen waste, plastic, polythene in a polythene bag and just wrap it in uh, our dust wheel. It will automatically segregate it in 40 to 45 seconds and there are different chambers uh, in our dustbin so it will segregate in different chambers there are basically three segregation uh, three segregation chambers there one is the high density dry waste low density dry waste and third one is wet waste and our next one is marketplace so we see there, there are many uh, dustbin here so bhar jaate hain but unhe khali karne ke liye hamare paas koi nahi aata like there are two to three more days ki wahan pada hai wahan gandh smell ho rahi hai jagah jagah 
वो वैसे का वैसा पड़ा है बट बट वी आर डूंग आफ्टर दैट वी आर गिविंग मार्केट प्लेस कि डस्टबिन भर गया इट इज फुली ऑटोमेटिक डाटा ड्रिवन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड वी कैन ऑपरेट इट फ्रॉम अवर डिवाइस फ्रॉम अवर फोन एंड डेस्कटॉप so we, this is our software marketplace it is a e-commerce website where we connect our like this is university waste generator yahan se waste hamara kuch na kuch generate hota hi hai so this is your waste generator aur hum is platform pe recycler aur waste generator ko dono ko collab karwa rahe hain dono ko saath mein mila rahe hain ki wo waste wahan ka wahan pada na reh jaye maine apni machine sell kar di apna profit margin le liya after that main kahin aur ja raha hu chala gaya wo waste waise ka waise hi system was uh, like previous So, हम एक कंप्लीट डिसेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम क्रिएट कर रहे हैं कि वो हम रिसाइकलर्स के पास डायरेक्ट उस वेस्ट को सेग्रीगेटेड वेस्ट को पहुंचा रहे हैं सोर्स पे जो सेग्रीगेशन कर रहे हैं एंड आफ्टर दैट यूनिक वैल्यू प्रोपोजिशन वी हैव डिसेंट्रलाइज सिस्टम लाइक जहां से हम वेस्ट प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं जहां से वेस्ट हमारा प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है वहीं से डायरेक्ट सेग्रीगेट होकर हमारा रिसाइकलर्स के पास जा रहे हैं प्रेजेंट सिस्टम वी नो की इस यूनिवर्सिटी से वेस्ट निकलता है वो कोई वेस्ट पिकर लेके जाता है फिर हमारा डट्टू माजरा वहां से कोई रिसाइकलर लेके जाता है फिर देन रिसाइकलर कंपनी को ग्रैंड वर्स बनाती है उसके बाद वेरी लॉन्ग फ्लो इन इट बट वट वी आर डूंग सोर्स एग्रीकेशन यहाँ वेस्ट जनरेट करें हैं डायरेक्ट यही से ही हमारा वेस्ट रिसाइकलिंग के लिए जा रहा है एंड स्मार्ट मोनिटरिंग स्मार्ट मोनिटरिंग मीन्स की मैं यहाँ पे खड़ा हूँ अपने फोन से उसे चेक कर सकता हूँ कि मेरा डस्टबिन कितने फ्लो पे है इट इज फुल और नोट इफ इट इज फुल इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली सेंडिकेट टू सेंड द नोटिफिकेशन टू द बेस्ट स्पीकर कि डस्टबिन भर गया है एंड इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली स्टॉप और वो स्टॉप हो जाएगा इट विल गिव अलार्म टू फाइव टू टेन सेकंड अप्रोक्सिमेटली एंड ऑटोमेटिक सेग्रीगेशन हमें कोई मैनुअल सेग्रीगेशन की जरूरत नहीं है जस्ट वी हैव टू पेक द वैग मिक्स वेस्ट एंड थ्रो इट इन द डस्टबिन आफ्टर दैट इट विल डू नेक्ट इट सेल्फ डाटा डिवल टेक्नोलॉजी वी हैव द डाटा वी इंप्लीमेंटेड इन आईओटी सिस्टम सो आई ओ टी सिस्टम लाइक की वी हैव द एक्सल सीट सो मेरे पास ये होगा कि मंथली मैंने इस यूनिवर्सिटी में अपनी मशीन लगाई है तो मेरे पास ये डाटा होगा कि मंथली मेरे पास कौन सा वेस्ट कितना आ रहा है और किस जगह से कितना आ रहा है सो वी हैव द डाटा नेक्स्ट मिनिमम मैनुअल इंटरवेंशन की इसमें कोई भी मैनुअल सेग्रीकेशन की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी बिजनेस मॉडल वी आर चैनल टेक्नोलॉजी शो केसिंग टेक्नोलॉजी शो केसिंग में हम इन राइट नाउ पी आई पीजीआई में अपना प्रोडक्ट शो केस कर रहे हैं एज ए डेमोस्ट्रेशन बेसिक so our MVP is ready but we know कि there are some upgradation जो हम कर सकते हैं उसमें so for that we need some fundings and uh, other than demonstration different sector event and case studies we are doing in different different incubation centers mayor marketing collaborations and unfair advantages patented technology research based product continuous upgradation जो हम कर रहे हैं but lack of funds we are lagging in it decentralized ecosystem and customized solution रोड मैप दिस इज अवर रोड मैप सो एस वी सी की इम्प्लीमेंटेशन पीजीआई ये हमारा रोड मैप था और इस मंथ में हम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन कर चुके हैं लास्ट मंथ हमने डेमोस्ट्रेट किया है फ्रॉम लास्ट टू मंथ हमारा प्रोडक्ट एज अ डेमोस्ट्रेशन बेसिस पे पीजीआई में रनिंग कंडीशन पे है अवर फर्स्ट एम बी पी एंड कस्टमर बेनिफिट लेसन मैनुअल इंटरवेशन एटी फाइव टू नाइनटी परसेंट कोस्ट रिडक्शन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी परसेंट वी हैव कोस्ट रिडक्शन इन प्रेजेंट लाइक प्रेजेंट बेस्ट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम मोर हाइजीनिक स्मार्ट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रिकवरी रेवेन्यू वी हैव फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी की जो वेस्ट जनरेट कर रहा है वो बोलते हैं कि हमारा वेस्ट ले जाओ या हमें कुछ नहीं चाहिए आपसे बट हम कहेंगे कि आप वेस्ट दे रहे हो हम आपको रिवेन्यू भी देंगे इससे वी यू गिव समार्जिन फ्रॉम दैट एंड कम्पिटेटिव एनालिसिस दिस इज द कंपनी वी आर इन कम्पिटिशन लाइक विनी इन क्लीन रोबोटिक्स दीज रोल आर फ्रॉम यूएसए यूके एंड पोलैंड वेस्ट कंपनी इन इंडिया वी हैव वन कम्पिटेटर विच इज ट्रेसकोन so trascon is a south based company but but they are doing is they are lacking in automatic segregation they are where they collect the from like there is 32 sector wo pure 32 sector ka waste ikatta kar, kar, karke plant mein le jayenge wahan se jaake segregate karenge they are not doing the source segregation so hum jahan waste generate ho raha hai wahi usse segregate kar rahe hain source segregation and this is our recognition showcasing startup india startup in himachal dainik jagran maker mela in agni platform we are in top innovations in agni platform in india government level and maker mela it is the we are in top 100s in maker mela which is the biggest asia level competition uh, thank you any questions Can you explain a bit about your smart segregation? Thing? How do you plan to do it? Do you have a video of, of the product? I have the video, but it was in my, it is in my system actually, not in the. Of the product working. Yes, uh, it is uh, in working condition in PGI. If anyone want to see in practical, then they have to see in PGI in sanitation department there are. So can you explain the smart segregation? Yes, yes, yes. So the team spoke for six minutes.
स्मार्ट सेग्रीगेशन बेसिकली हम क्या करें लाइक आई सेड कि वी वर्किंग ऑन अ थ्योरी की इफ टू डिफरेंट साइड वो मैं कुछ हां व्हाट वी आर यस व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज कि जो हमारा डिजाइन बना है लाइक वी आर सीइंग इन दिस इज द इनपुट नीचे हमने सेंसर्स यूज किए हैं फोटो इलेक्ट्रिकल सेंसर कैपेसिटिव सेंसर्स एंड द वैक्यूम सिस्टम कि जो हमारे जैसे जो हमारे कैपेसिटिव सेंसर जो हैं वो एक उसे सेंस करेंगे वेस्ट को कि कौन कितना है और द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज कि वेट के थ्रू डिफरेंशिएट करें हम फर्स्ट फर्स्ट प्रोसेस पे हमारे पास क्रशर है जो 8 एम एम टू ट्वेल्व एम एम पीसीज को क्रश करेगा और उसके बाद वैक्यूम मोटर्स के थ्रू अलग अलग पाइपिंग सिस्टम के थ्रू अलग अलग सिस्टम अलग अलग चंबल्स में चला जाएगा ड्यू टू वैक्यूम जो हमने एक वहां पर वैक्यूम सिस्टम वैक्यूम प्रेशर सेट किया हुआ है ड्यू टू अवर प्रैक्टिकल रिसर्च ये जो अभी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन करती है सुबह जो इकट्ठा कराती है आर यू कॉम्पिटेटर और आर यू फेसिलिटेटर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन जो सुबह इन चंडीगढ़ लाइक सो वी आर वी आर लाइक कॉम्पिटिटर्स नॉट कॉम्पिटिटर दे आर नॉट डूइंग द सेग्रीगेशन पार्ट दे आर जस्ट पिक एंड थ्रो लाइक यहाँ पे जो भी हमने देखा है लाइक दे आर पिकिंग द वेस्ट एंड गो टू दू मजर वहां पर फैंक देते हैं वहां पे जो भी उनका चार्ज होता है वो करते हैं बट वट वी आर डूइंग की हम जो हम जब हमने पीजीआई में डेमोस्ट्रेट किया है सो वट दे आर कोल्ड की यार हमें नहीं चाहिए हमारा वेस्ट यहाँ से ले जाओ आप हमें ये गंद यहाँ नहीं चाहिए आपको पैसे चाहिए दे आर डूइंग दे आर गिविंग ऑल्सो सिक्स टू फिफ्टीन लैक पर एन एम हमें कि हम आप हमारा वेस्ट लेके जाओ सर एक्चुअली वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू द एम सी चंडीगढ़ हमने वहां पर बताया भी था उन्होंने खुद हमसे कहा था कि देर इज अ वेरी बिग ब्लैक मार्केट जो कि अनऑथोराइज वेस्ट पिकर हमारे होते हैं जो ले जाते हैं रिसाइकलिंग बाकी डिस्कार्डेड वेस्ट यहाँ वहाँ फेंक देते हैं बट दे आर डोंट डू नथिंग हमने वहाँ पे टू मीटिंग्स की हैं जो हमारे आई थिंक मैम है आई थिंक उनके साथ यस हमें हिमकोस्ट है मैं हम वन ईयर के लिए शिमला में हम वन ईयर के इनक्यूबेटेड थे वहाँ से फोर वन ईयर थ्री लाख का ग्रांड मिला था हमें बट लाइक भी एक लाख थ्री लाख में हमारा हुआ नहीं बट वी आर डूइंग सम अवर ओन वी आर डूइंग सम अवर जॉब इन द अदर हैंड सो वहाँ से हमने अपना फ्रॉम फैमिली वी आर डेवलपिंग अवर प्रोटोटाइप बट अब हम ये देख रहे हैं कि इन रियल मार्केट में आने के लिए हम और इस पर अपग्रेड कर सकते हैं लाइक और टेक यूज कर सकते हैं सो फॉर दैट वी आर नीड फंडिंग टीम कितनी बड़ी टीम वी आर थ्री पीपल्स एक्चुअली क्या प्रोडक्शन कोस्ट जो है बेसिकली वो है सिक्स लैख एंड जो अभी हमारे पास सेलिंग कोस्ट है वो अभी फाइनल नहीं होती है लाइक वी आर गोइंग टू एज ए सर्विस बेस्ड फोर बाई फोर इट्स यस और नाउ वी आर लाइक आई सेड कि हम अपग्रेड करेंगे 50 टू 60 परसेंट कोस्ट इसमें कट हो जाएगी हमारी अभी ये पे कौन करेगा आ, ये हम अपनी तरफ से कर रहे हैं लाइक ग्रांट्स का हम देख रहे हैं इन्वेस्टमेंट का देख रहे हैं एज ए बिजनेस मॉडल एज ए बिजनेस मॉडल वी आर लुकिंग फॉर इन्वेस्टर इन वो कर रहे हैं आगे उनको आउटपुट जो उन्हें चाहिए वो मिल गई है बट वो एक हाई लेवल प्लांट के इस पे जा रहे हैं जो हम उनके साथ आगे कर रहे हैं डॉक्यूमेंटेशन चल रही है अभी पे। इसके पैसे कौन देगा ये यूनिट लगाने के पैसे कौन देगा ये यूनिट लगाने के सो वी आर लुकिंग फॉर इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर दैट इन्वेस्टर ने तो आज आपको पैसे दे दिया है yes. तो पैसे आपको मैंने सर्विस दे दी बट जो भी आपका वेस्ट होगा उससे डील मैं करूंगा सो आफ्टर दैट जो भी वेस्ट होगा जो भी उससे रिसाइकलिंग कंपनी से हम कोलैब है लाइक स्क्रैप फ्रॉम जीरकपुर हम उनके साथ इस टाइम प्रेजेंट कोलेबरेशन में है तो हमने उन्हें आउटपुट दिखाई है अपनी जो हमारी आउटपुट आ रही है दे आर रेडी टू टेक अवर आउटपुट जो भी हम उनसे मैटीरियल मैंने छह करोड़ दे दिया आपने सौ यूनिट बना दिया यस अब मेरे छह करोड़ का क्या करोगे आप कैसे आएंगे मुझे वापस क्या मिलेगा आपको मिलेगा हमारा जो रिवेन्यू मॉडल होगा हम उनसे मशीन बनाएंगे और जो हम वेस्ट से रिसाइकल्स को देंगे जो हमारे पास आएगा वो लाइक हमारे पास हंड्रेड रिवेन्यू जो है हंड्रेड जो इन्वेस्टमेंट हम कर रहे हैं वो विद इन अयर हमारे पास वापिस आ रही है जो हम सेल कर रहे हैं लाइक बेड वेस्ट है हमारा उसे हम कंपोस्टिंग के थ्रू सेल कर रहे हैं वो हम मैं मिनिमम लेकर चल रहा हूँ 15 सो वी आर आल्सो इन कलेक्टिंग वी ए आर वी एस डेल फिफ्टीन के जी फिफ्टीन के जी पर के जी फिफ्टीन रुपीज पर के जी जो हमारा बेड वेस्ट जाएगा आफ्टर कम्पोस्टिंग मिनिमम बता रहा हूँ इसमें हमारे पास फाइव टू सिक्स ऑल ओवर हमारे पास सारा वेस्ट निकलता है आफ्टर आउटपुट 
पैसे कितने देख रहे हो उसका यूटिलाइजेशन क्या करोगे टेक्नोलॉजी में करोगे प्रोडक्शन में लाइक वी आर देखिंग द अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ दैट प्रोडक्ट कुछ उसके डिटेल्स भी है जो हम मेटीरियल यूज करेंगे लाइक क्रशर हम यूज करेंगे इसमें और सेंसर यूज करेंगे उन चीजों को परचेज करने के लिए हमें चाहिए And now for like other marketing place हो गया, uh, we are doing so, the... आपको अगेन ये दो तीन लाख तो ठीक है मिली जाएगी उसको दो तीन लाख के साथ अमाउंट पर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड और वो चीजें हैं पॉइंट इम्पोर्टेंट है उसके यूटिलाइजेशन और रेवेन्यू कैसे लाओगे अगेन सर ने जैसे बोला पैसे छह रुपए दो छह करोड़ दो छह सौ करोड़ दो मेरे को वो रिटर्न चाहिए इंस्टीट्यूशन कैन गिव अ ग्रांट बट वी गिव एज ए मनी की मेरे को रिटर्न चाहिए नॉट गिविंग अ ग्रांट तो उसका एक मॉडल होना बहुत जरूरी है कि मैं रेवेन्यू कहाँ से अर्न करूंगा जब तक मैं ये नहीं बताऊंगा मैं इतने किलो की इतनी चीज बेच के यहाँ से पैसे कमा के आपके पैसे वापस आई हैव द फूड रेवेन्यू मॉडल इन माय ओन सिस्टम आफ्टर दैट आई विल गिव यू द होल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आपके पास एज वी इक्वल इन 7 मिनट्स है मेबी लेटर यू कैन मीट अस एंड वी विल डिस्कस इट यस ठीक है बट उस हिसाब से यू शुड हैव अ रेवेन्यू मॉडल आल्सो इन आवर पीपीटी आप कहां से पैसा कमाओगे और कितने पैसे चाह रहे हो आप ठीक है ओके सो गेट अ इफ यू नीड 3 लाख रुपीस आई विल अरेंज यू पीजे विल गिव यू 3 लाख रुपीस ओके So, so because PJ also has an incubation, they give you money. Yes. Then many other they'll give you three lakh, and you can work on it. If you need any government three lakh, they'll also give you. The point is, utilization is important. Full document and full flowchart of our development. Yeah, sure. Thank you. 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 Thank So I'm sure all of you must have stayed or must recording in progress. Must know someone who lives in a rented accommodation or in your earlier earlier days you must have lived in hostel or a PG itself. आपको अभी सारी अच्छी memories याद आ गई जब आप college time में hostel में या PG में अपने दोस्तों के साथ रह रहे थे कि आपको difficulties याद आई हैं. What all difficulties you were facing? So we at Koli Spaces are here to eliminate all of that. We Koli Spaces offer independent, hassle-free. accommodations on the go for the time period that best suits your need you may choose from a 3 bhk apartment to a room to a half a room for a day month or years to come uh, these all topics we will be covering in our presentation today uh, we all know what is co living after the era of co working we are in the era of co living now these are visions values missions and uh, goal uh, next all right so first All of the charts that I'm going to use in this presentation are taken from the JLL's annual report. So, according to me and according to the report itself, what are the problems that we need to solve? What are the problems over there? According to this report itself, it shows that India in the next 15 years is uh, its population is going to reach by 150 million. As it is, लोगों के पास अभी घर नहीं है रहने के लिए. जब 150 million population बढ़ जाएगी तो difficulty कितनी ज़्यादा increase होएगी? सबसे पहले अनबिलिटी ऑफ हाउसिंग एज इट इज लोगों के पास घर नहीं है रहने के लिए अगर है भी है तो उनको मिल उनके कॉस्ट स्ट्रक्चर में नहीं उनके बजट में नहीं है एवरीबडी कांट अफोर्ड टू लिव इन मुंबई या अच्छे जगहों पे एवरीबडी कांट अफोर्ड दैट उसके अलावा कन्वीनियंस एंड अनफर्निश्ड वेलर अगर उनको मिलता भी है कुछ तो उनको कन्वीनियंटली नहीं मिल रहा एंड अगर मिल रहा है तो उसमें अनफर्निश्ड है सारा मतलब उनको कभी कुछ इकट्ठा करके लाना पड़ रहा है कहीं एसी लेके आना पड़ रहा है कहीं से स्टडी एबल लेके आना पड़ रहा है वो और सेकेंडली कम्युनिटी एंड डिस्क्रिमिनेशन हम सबको पता है बैचलर्स को स्टूडेंट्स को घर नहीं मिलता रहने के लिए यहाँ पे भी एंड फ्रॉम माई एक्सपीरियंस बैक इन कैनेडा ऑल्सो आई फेस्ड अ मेजर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द फैक्ट दैट आई एम अ स्टूडेंट दैट आई वॉन्ट बी गेट अ गुड अफोर्डेबल प्लेस अफोर्डेबल भी नहीं बट आई वॉन्ट गेट अ गुड प्लेस टू लिव मेरे को इन दी एंड वो पीजी वाली आंटी से कनाडा में पीजी वाली आंटी से बेसमेंट किराए पे लेके रहना पड़ा एंड फिफ्थ इज लैक ऑफ यूनिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ डिजाइन सबके घर सेम नहीं होते सबके पास सेम चीजें नहीं होती बट वी ओवर हेयर एट कोली स्पेसिस विल सॉल्व ऑल ऑफ दीज प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट लाइक सो इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड द मार्केट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस मार्केट इट सेल्फ इन एशिया पैसिफिक देर नंबर ऑफ पीपल वॉन्ट टू कोलिव मतलब एशिया पैसिफिक में सबसे ज्यादा पीपल आर रेडी टू शेयर And uh, used shared accommodations. Next slide, please. So according to this itself, the 
टेन्योर आ रहा है जो ड्यूरेशन आ रहा है जहाँ पीपल वो वॉन्ट रेंटेड स्पेस को लिव करना चाहेंगे दैट इज फ्रॉम सेवेंटी डेज टू फाइव हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी डेज एंड दिस इज बिकॉज आपका हमारी टारगेट ऑडियंस जो है वो है एटीन टू थर्टी एट ईयर्स एंड दैट इज ऑल बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स एंड वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल एंड इसमें तो चलो सेवेंटी डेज लिखा है बट आई नो फ्रॉम द एक्सपीरियंस दैट आई है कंपनी इज बिन वर्किंग फॉर थ्री ईयर्स नाउ वहाँ पे वी हैव पीपल हु वॉन्टेड फॉर थर्टी डेज हमारे पास कंपनीज आती है हमारा तो थर्टी डेज में ये काम करके हमने आगे जाना है तो थर्टी डेज के लिए कोई नहीं देता कोई और लैंड लॉर्ड नहीं देता सिंपली ऑफ द फैक्ट बिकॉज एक महीने के लिए दी थी उसके बाद फिर मेरे को साफ सफाई करानी पड़ेगी मेरे को कुछ तोड़ फोड़ के चला गया फिर फिर ढूंढना पड़ेगा फिर फिर मेरी प्रॉपर्टी खाली पड़ी रहेगी सो वो बहुत बड़ी मार्केट है जो खाली मतलब है अभी नेक्स्ट लाइफ प्लीज सो हम करते क्या हैं हम बेसिकली हमारे पास अभी फाइव बिल्डिंग्स हैं एंड हम वो चूज कैसे करते हैं बिल्डिंग्स सबसे पहले हम स्टडी करते हैं कि कहाँ पे करना है एंड जरूरत है भी है कि नहीं ऐसा नहीं है कि हम यहाँ पे बच्चों को जरूरत है अकोमोडेशन की हम जाके न्यू चंडीगढ़ खोल दें हम जगह देखते हैं कि कहाँ पे जरूरत है वहां पे खोलते हैं जब हमने अपनी प्रॉपर्टी सिलेक्ट कर ली हम उसको फर्निश करते हैं या तैयार करते हैं पेंटिंग्स करना है थोड़ा बहुत फर्निशिंग करनी है कैमराज लगाने हैं जो भी सर्विसेस हम लगा सकते हैं आप लोगों का स्टे या अपने कस्टमर्स का स्टे इम्प्रूव करने के लिए वो करते हैं देन ऑब्वियसली प्रमोट करते हैं एंड देन अगेन हम लर्न एंड इम्प्रूव भी करते हैं वे आर ऑलवेज ओपन टू इम्प्रूवमेंट्स अब आप एक जगह रह रहे हो आप लोग वो कस्ट आप वो चीज फाइनल कस्टमर यूज कर रहा है वो चीज तो आपके एक्सपीरियंस ही हमें पता चलेगा हम नेक्स्ट बिल्डिंग्स में या तब उस चीज में और बेटर क्या कर सकते हैं आप भी एक बार प्रोडक्ट इन्वेंट्री दिखा दो सर ये हमारी फर्स्ट बिल्डिंग है अभी आर लोकल सारे लोकल ही हैं आई गेस आपने जीरकपुर में मेट्रो देखा होगा मेट्रो के साथ दिस दिस इज अ सिक्स स्टोरी बिल्डिंग ये पूरी की पूरी बिल्डिंग मेरे पास है इट्स थ्री बी एच के अपार्टमेंट एंड सिक्स फ्लोर सिक्स अपार्टमेंट ऑन ईच फ्लोर सो आई थर्टी सिक्स अपार्टमेंट थ्री बी एच के ईच तो दिस गिव दस वन हंड्रेड एंड एट रूम नेक्स्ट बिहार दिस इज अ ट्वेंटी रूम बिल्डिंग जस्ट ऑपोजिट बिहाइंड होटल मैरीलैंड बेस्ट वेस्टर्न मैरीलैंड नेक्स्ट दिस प्रॉपर्टी इज ऑन वी आई पी रोड इट सेल्फ दिस इज आर यू मस्ट बी ऑल फेमिल विद सी 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 वी हैव टेकन उनका पूरा एफ ब्लॉक सो फिफ्टी फोर वन बी एच के यूनिट नेक्स्ट लाइट एंड दिस इज आर लेटेस्ट एडिशन दैट वी डेट दिस इज ऑन ऑन वी आई पी रोड इट सेल्फ अगेन दिस इज अ स्टूडियो अपार्टमेंट जहां पे उनको सारा कुछ मिलता है हमारी सारी प्रॉपर्टीज पे फ्री वाईफाई है फ्री हाउस कीपिंग है मतलब जो प्रॉब्लम मुझे वहां पे फेस हुई कि मेरे को वहां पे होता था यार काम से घर आए कॉलेज से घर आए बना बनाए खाना मिल जाए घर साफ सुथरा हो एंड वाईफाई हो मैं सारी चीजें यहाँ पे प्रोवाइड कर रहा हूँ नेक्स्ट लाइट प्लीज बेसिकली और अगर इसमें भी हम बात करें जीरकपुर में अभी हमारे पास 450 बेड्स हैं मोर देन 210 रूम्स एंड फाइव बिल्डिंग्स इन टोटल इफ यू टॉक अबाउट आर फाइनेंशियल फिगर्स और माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस इज वेल यहाँ पे सॉरी फॉर दैट इनकनवीनियंस So according to our uh, financial figures, we initially invested 30 lakhs. That was I had gotten that. So can you conclude? Sure. Our per site revenue we have mentioned over here. All in all, average our per month. Abhi, if you don't include the latest two sites, 21 lakhs 75,000 per month. Next slide, please. This is our profit before depreciation and tax. Hai. पहले साल हमने 2 lakhs 75,000 का profit किया था, but uh, हमने assets बहुत खरीदे थे तब. तो सारा आफ्टर डेप्रिसिएशन वो नेगेटिव में चला गया था अभी लेटेस्ट हमने जो प्रीवियस ईयर किया है सर अपॉलॉजी इज द टाइम हैज एलैप्स्ड इट्स बीन 7 मिनट्स 30 सेकंड्स जस्ट गो थ्रू द स्लाइड सो ये है हमारा फर्स्ट टू इयर्स हमारा बैलेंस शीट के अकॉर्डिंगली हमारा ये प्रॉफिट है सेकंड थर्डली दिस ईयर हमारी बैलेंस शीट अभी विद इन अ वीक फाइनलाइज हो जाएगी उसके अकॉर्डिंगली वी जनरेटेड 23 लाख इन प्रॉफिट बिफोर टैक्स एंड डेप्रिसिएशन एंड लास्टली अभी द टिल डेट 
We just secured a deal with Akash, जो Akash 34 में Akash Institute है, उनके साथ we have just secured a deal from the past two months, so that gave us a very big boost. We alone are generating about plus 16 lakhs in revenue from 13 lakhs in revenue from Akash. Earlier we did hosted ISB students as well because of COVID ISB का backlog चल रहा था three months का. बस आईएस भी तो वैसे कंपटीशन खुद की देता है, but the people over there wanted to stay together. They chose our place for two consecutive years now, and then again उनसे भी did good business. But currently हम अपना we are generating ten we are generating twenty lakhs in revenue currently. इसमें हमारी दो sides नहीं included. Lastly, अगर हम standard multiplier भी लेके चलें revenue का अगर valuation के लिए करें so our current yearly revenue divided multiplied by five is anywhere from eleven crores to thirteen crores. Number of people, sir. Ah, next please. आगे करना. इसमें वो था ना number of shareholders वाला. No no. आपने कितने लोगों को serve किया? That's more than one thousand plus. ISB alone मैंने three three months में ninety ninety students के बाद किया है. आकाश के अभी 50 स्टूडेंट्स का रह रहे हैं एंड थ्री इयर्स में आई गेस मोर देन थाउजेंड तो होगा ही होगा मैं वेब बिन और मेरे पास आई एंड लाइक टू सी दैट मैं आई ट्राइ टू फंक्शन एंड 95 परसेंट प्लस ऑक्यूपेंसी ये जितना भी रेवेन्यू मैंने डाला मैंने 80 परसेंट पे डाला कि मतलब मारा टाइम भी चल रहा ह� private room 10,000 से start है। air condition? all of the rooms are air conditioned, all of the rooms एक बार आप product inventory में दिखा दो। सारे rooms में almost सब में fridge, microwave, induction, inverter हाँ जी। six thousand per month per per month per month per month। हमारे पास per day वाला भी है। हमारे पास भी offer है three months। ये बार day, months and everything। so how so if somebody takes an annual, its a rate is less or and if somebody takes only for three days, then is the rate high? Obviously, for uh, for a day we charge thirty five hundred per day for a three BHK apartment, and for the single room, it will be one thousand rupees. If BHK, then so that means the kitchen, who is using kitchen? So this kitchen. property is the common property. I mean, this three BHK only property. Hai. Is me majorly, my past company ke guest houses hai. and then again group of friends, who are not together. But obviously, all the people are not together. Different people are coming. So that's why we have to go down. Leave it down. बाकी सारी प्रॉपर्टीज हमारी सिंगल यूनिट्स वाली हैं। सपोज इसमें किचन नहीं है, दिस वन रूम्स, दिस एक्सेक्ट रूम स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम टेन थाउजेंड रुपीस। जितने भी फोटोस देख रहे हो सारी आर एक्चुअल फोटोस। ये वाला रूम ट्वेल थाउजेंड का है, इसमें आपको पर्सनल इन्वर्टर प्रीपेड मीटर कि लोग बिजली का बिल दिए भी नहीं भाग रहे हैं। तो बुकिंग इस जाने से थ्रू एन ऑनलाइन ऐप और समथिंग और इट्स। We have our own website, we have landing pages, app का we wanted to develop but अभी use नहीं था। हमारी सारी sites पे on-site property managers हैं। सबसे ज़्यादा business हमारे sales channel में brokers के through आता है। Earlier we thought how you scale up for state or any things and all? How you plan? Or you want to keep it within Chennai? Next slide करना। नहीं 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 not at all slide। Scalable वाली आएगी। Next please। ये पीछे। So is it scalable? Obviously in India itself, it's a 12 billion dollar opportunity. Next slide please। ये हमारा competition है। As you all know, Houser ने अभी 170 crores raise किया है, Oyo ने 80 crores। इसमें Embassy Group है, उन्हें 2000 crores invest किया है। So what's the unique proposition? Unique proposition currently right now is that मैं I am giving it for a day, Airbnb वाला segment। अब जैसे if we run on 95% occupancy also, there is something that stays left with you. We have allocated that we have to go through the two rooms in the Airbnb or hotel. So, my day-wise revenue obviously is more than that. Secondly, USP is now the closest to the market share, but now my competitor as of now is no one. One competitor is now coming, that is Oxford A-Buzz. And उनने भी अभी थोड़ा सा market मतलब अभी introduce ही हुआ है। And that is also they are giving bunk beds वाला। We are not when we are talking scalable, we are not really seeing whether you have a competitor in Rajasthan. Obviously. What we are seeing is how is it scalable at a larger level. And your USP also visit is these guys because these guys have been doing this for a long time now. Definitely. So what's your USP compared? Your USP. So as I understand what you are saying is these guys do not give that single room kind of segment. Sir, these guys don't have that much inventory right now. 
एक ही जगह पे दे डोंट हैव दैट आई सपोज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कोहो उन्होंने दिल्ली में हर सेक्टर में या दो दो सेक्टर छोड़ के एक एक छोटा छोटा घर उठाया हुआ कोठी उठाई हुई है उनको रेंट कर रहे हैं उनको फर्निश कर रहे हैं उनको चला रहे हैं उनको बस एक जगह पे इतनी इन्वेंट्री कहीं पे भी नहीं है उनमें मोहाली में वी हैव ऑलरेडी साइट्स प्लांट अप इन न्यू चंडीगढ़ वहां पे अभी वो आ रहा है कॉलेज का नाम है भूल गया नासी मुंजी नासी मुंजी आ रहा है उन्होंने थ्रू माय फादर्स कांटेक्ट उन्होंने अभी नॉर्थ सिंगन कंपनी में अबाउट 50 अपार्टमेंट्स लिए हैं फॉर दैट स्टूडेंट्स के रहने के लिए एंड उनसे अलग से 2 एकड़ की साइट ली है टू बिल्ड अप अ हॉस्टल फॉर देमसेल्फ वहां पे वी ऑलरेडी हैव दैट साइट प्लांट एचडी कॉलेज में बिकॉज़ चंडीगढ़ इज अ क्लोज नेट कंपनी यहां पे आप रात की रात बिल्डिंग नहीं बना सकते यहाँ पे जो है चंडीगढ़ में वो है वहां पे हाउ कैन वी मैनेज दैट इज वॉट वी नीड टू सी अभी 28 सेक्टर में सेल्फ एक दो कनाल की कोटी है बंदे ने हॉस्पिटल के उसके लिए बनाई थी जैसे 19 सेक्टर में होते हैं। डील के के अंदर रेंटल सिक्योरिटी व्हाट इज कोई भी बिल्डिंग 36 फ्लैट्स आपने बोली so मैं ये नहीं चाहता कि आज कस्टमर मैं लंबे देर के लिए जुड़ना चाहता हूँ फॉर द कस्टमर इट सेल्फ एंड फॉर द प्रॉपर्टी ओनर इट सेल्फ वो करोगे प्रॉपर्टी ओनर्स को क्या बेनिफिट होता है मेरे से इज दैट एक तो मैं उनसे लॉन्ग लीज करता हूँ उनको बारी बारी अपना रेंट टेनेंट ढूंढने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ती एंड देन अगेन उनको ब्रोकरेज नहीं देनी कमीशन नहीं देनी तो क्या डी आपकी क्या डील है नाइन ईयर लॉन्ग लीज विदू ईयर लॉक एंड पीरियड फॉर टू ईयर लॉक एंड पीरियड तो रेंटल मार्केट से कम होता है ज्यादा होता है कितना होता है सर वैसे फॉर द वेरी फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑब्वियसली मैं उनको आई ट्राई टू गेट देम कि मेरे को तो कम में ही मिले एंड आगे मैं ज्यादा से ज्यादा चढ़ाऊं और आप फिर तो बिल्डिंग्स वैसे ट्राई करते होगे जो अभी खाली है पूरी नहीं नहीं सर मेरे को बनी बनाई बिल्डिंग्स की ऑलरेडी प्री प्रोजेक्ट है 36 फ्लैट्स एक ही बिल्डिंग में कैसे मतलब हाउ यू आर डूइंग इट मतलब 36 फ्लैट्स एक ही बिल्डिंग में माय फादर न्यू द डेवलपर हु बिल्ट दैट बिल्डिंग एंड उसने मोस्टली जिनको बेची भी हुई थी तो उनसे उसने वापस कलेक्ट करके हमें दी है तो बट ऐसे कितनी प्रॉपर्टीज होंगी सर मेरे पास अभी पांच हो गई है में 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 आप एक एक बार टीम टीम पीछे पीछे सो बेसिकली अभी वी आर इन रनिंग ऑफ टू पीपल जिसमें से मोस्टली नेक्स्ट स्लाइड पे करना है गो बैक अप टू द ऑल थ्री गाइस फैमिली हाँ जी माय मदर फादर एंड मी Self. And the Amit Kanwar is Bhaiya over there. He has been a helping hand of my father for about 15 years now. So he is the policing in this business. कि पापा ने कहा कि तूने देखना है सारा कि ठीक चल रहा है या नहीं. And then again, uh, mostly हमारा क्या है managing हमारी हर side का supervisor है property manager है and then again आगे housekeeping team है and manage करने वाली team है कि जो उनको property साफ सुथरी दे सारा कुछ करके दे and obviously सारी इम्यूनिटीज प्रोवाइड गो थ्रू करें हमारी सारी साइट्स पे ऑलमोस्ट रिक्रिएशनल रूम्स हैं ऑल इंस्पायर्ड फ्रॉम यू एफ वी इट्स आई हैव आई हैव डेवलप दिस बिजनेस बाय माय एक्सपीरियंस द एक्सपीरियंस आई गेन इन यू एफ वी एंड इन बैक इन कनाडा यहां पे माय गर्लफ्रेंड शी वाज इन यू एफ वी एज वेल वो पे कर रही थी 6000 फॉर अ मंजे वाला बेड 3 टू 4 गर्ल्स शेयरिंग अ रूम इन 32 सेक्टर पीजे एंड वो पीजे वाली आंटी ने उनको बहुत तंग किया 6 बजे आओ ये करो वो करो ऑल we have all experience that uh comments slash question that you had put your competitors as boyo and all those places going to valuation you might want to because i he saw your you are running a real estate business it's an asset based business there the competitor i don't know if you why vista rooms was not picked up मोस्ट ऑफ द अदर प्लेट बिजनेसेज आर प्लेटफॉर्म बिजनेस सो आई आई थिंक क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी सो प्लेटफॉर्म एंड कम्युनिटी बिल्डिंग ऑन प्लेटफॉर्म इज द मल्टीप्लायर वैल्यूएशन ऑन सच अ बिजनेस वट यू आर डूइंग इज वेरी सिमिलर टूटिटर फॉर यू विल बी डिस्टर्ब आई बैक टू डिफर सर हमारा मेजर सेगमेंट मंथली वाला हमारा डे वाइज सेगमेंट इतना 
बिजनेस मॉडल हमारा मंथली या स्टूडेंट लिविंग या हाउस वो है विस्टा रूम्स में आई हैव पर्सनली रेंटेड विस्टा रूम्स प्रॉपर्टी दे चार्ज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड फॉर थ्री बी एच के अपार्टमेंट थ्री बी एच के प्रॉपर्टी इन कसौली या अभी बागे फुर्सत है वो चालीस हजार यूज मांगते हैं फॉर अ फाइव डेज मेरी वो टारगेट ऑडियंस ही नहीं है मेरे पास ये है कि मेरे बिजनेस मॉडल में जो मेरे पास बच रहा था ना उससे मैंने कैसे अपने आप को ऑप्टोमाइज किया कि उसमें से मैं और वैल्यू और और रिटर्न कैसे ले आऊँ हेलो ऑडियंस तो मैं शुरुआत करना चाहूंगा एक सवाल से आप में से कितने लोगों ने कमेंट्स पढ़ी हैं बहुत ही अच्छा लगा देख के और मेरा सवाल है कि कितने लोगों ने डिजिटल कमेंट्स पढ़ी हैं काफी कम पहले से बहुत कम तो आज मैं कल जैन ध्रुव मित्तल और रियो पांडल आपके लिए लेकर आया कॉमिक्स कॉमिक्स एक ई कॉमिक बुक पब्लिशिंग प्लेटफॉर्म है यहाँ पे हम बहुत बड़े बड़े ब्रांड से कॉमिक्स को डिजिटल फॉर्म में आपके लिए लेकर आते हैं जैसे नरूटो जूजुसुन डी सी मार्वल ये हमारा एक कमीशन बेस्ड मॉडल है यहाँ पे हम कमीशन चार्ज करते हैं ऑन एवरी यूनिट सोल्ड ऑन आर प्लेटफॉर्म हमारा विजन ये है कि इंडिया से जितनी भी कॉमिक्स निकले सभी को हम एक अमरेला टर्म के अंदर लेकर आए जो है चित्रकथा आज की डेट में महंगा जापान से रिलेट करी जाती है मानवा कोरिया से रिलेट की जाती है मैं चाहता हूँ चित्रकथा हमारे देश से रिलेट की जाए Now it's time for our USP. हमारी USP ये है कि हम नए आर्टिस्ट और इलेस्ट्रेटर्स को अलाउ करते हैं कि वो हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म पे आए और अपनी कॉमिक्स को पोस्ट करें जब भी कॉमिक्स की बात आती है हम उनको अपनी इमेजिनेशन को बिल्कुल खुला छूट देते हैं उनकी और हमारे अनलाइक आर कॉम्पिटिटर्स हमारी कॉमिक्स जितनी भी हैं सारी लीगल है रीड करने के लिए हमने सभी से बात कर रखी है हम सभी किसी भी आई पी आर को हर्ट नहीं करते एंड फॉर नोस्टैल्जिक टच हमारे साथ चार सौ चौदह और मोटू पतलू भी हैं और मार्केट अपॉर्चुनिटी के लिए मैं रिया को बुलाना चाहूंगा थैंक यू कल तो अगर हम अपना ग्लोबल मार्केट अपॉर्चुनिटी देखिए सो द ट्रेंड्स फॉर कॉमिक्स विज 8.49 पॉइंट फोर नाइन बिलियन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एंड नाइन पॉइंट टू वन बिलियन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन विच इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू ग्रो एट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट एट वन बिलियन बाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी एट एट सी ए जी आर ऑफ फोर पॉइंट एट परसेंट तो जो कॉमिक्स है वो जनरली ओरिजिनेट हुआ था जापान से जो कि आप देख सकते हैं विच इज हाइस्ट अमाउंट दीज कंट्रीज विच इज फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट कोरिया विथ थर्टीन परसेंट यू एस ए विथ फिफ्टीन परसेंट फ्रांस विथ थ्री परसेंट एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज सिक्सटीन परसेंट एज इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द इंडियन मार्केट इंडियन मार्केट में अभी एज सच कोई प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं है इट इज एन अनऑर्गेनाइज प्लेटफॉर्म सो वट वी आर गोन डू इज वी आर गोन प्रोवाइड एन ऑर्गेनाइज प्लेटफॉर्म सो जो हमारे जितने भी कॉमिक रीडर्स हैं वो अपने फेवरेट कॉमिक्स और जितने भी कॉमिक्स वो पढ़ना चाहते हैं वो आराम से पढ़ सकते हैं एंड दे कैन इन्जॉय दे टाइम नाउ फिर मार्केट मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजीज आई वुड लाइक टू फॉलो अपॉन कार्जिन हेलो तो मार्केटिंग जिस जिस तरीके से हम जानते हैं हर ऑन्टरप्रेन चाहता है कि उसकी सारी मार्केटिंग ऑर्गेनिक हो सेम हम भी ये चाहते हैं तो शुरुआत करते हैं हम यूट्यूब चैनल से हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल पे हमने आर्टिस्ट और इलेस्ट्रेटर्स के इंटरव्यूज डाले हुए हैं तो और लोग जिससे इंस्पायर हों उनको पता लगे कि आर्टिस्ट कैसे काम करते हैं इलेस्ट्रेटर्स कैसे काम करते हैं फिर हम एक कम्यूनिटी बनाना चाहते हैं हम चाहते हैं हम कर रहे हैं काम उस पर कम्यूनिटी में ये इलेस्ट्रेटर्स आर्टिस्ट ऑथर्स और रीडर्स की होगी ये ना केवल उनको एक आइडिया प्रोवाइड करेंगे उनकी इमेजिनेशन को वाइडन अप करेंगे बल्कि हमें भी इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइड करेंगे कि हम आगे अपने डिसीजंस कैसे लें हमारे अलग अलग ट्विटर हैंडल इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक पेजेस ये सब भी हमारे कॉन्टिन्यूसली चल रहे हैं अब जिस तरीके से हम जानते हैं कि बिना पेड एडवर्टाइजमेंट के भी कोई आज की डेट में स्टार्टअप इतनी जल्दी से ग्रो नहीं कर सकता तो हम भी पेड एडवर्टाइजमेंट कर ही रहे हैं हम फेसबुक और गूगल पर अपना एड रन कर रहे हैं हम विजुअल और पब्लिक इवेंट्स क्रिएट कर रहे हैं विजुअल और बेसिकली वर्चुअल और पब्लिक इवेंट्स में हम ये करते हैं पीछे कॉमिक रन करती रहती है और एक आदमी उसको वॉइस देता रहता है तो इसी तरीके से वीडियो लुक आता है और लोग का इंटरेस्ट क्रिएट होता है हमारे फ्यूचरिस्टिक मार्केटिंग स्ट्रेटेजी ये है जैसे आप इसमें देख पा रहे हैं यहाँ पे यहाँ पे ये कॉमिक एक कंपनी का रेफरेंस देने की कोशिश कर रही है बट क्योंकि Uh, उन्होंने पार्टनरशिप नहीं कर रखी उस कंपनी के साथ वो कंपनी का लोगो और नाम नहीं यूज कर सकते तो कॉमिक्स में हम uh, जो नए ऑथर्स हैं जिनकी मैंने बात करी और इलेस्ट्रेटर्स हैं 
उनसे पार्टनरशिप करके और बड़ी कंपनी से पार्टनरशिप करके उनको ये अलाउ करेंगे कि वो उनका नाम यूज कर पाए और ये बड़ी कंपनी के लिए एडवर्टाइजमेंट का काम भी करेगा प्लस हमारे लिए रेवेन्यू का भी हम ना केवल इसमें बड़ी कंपनीज को बल्कि छोटी कंपनीज जैसे छोटी कंपनीज नहीं छोटे वेंडर्स को जो जो केवल चंडीगढ़ से आ रहे हैं या केवल दिल्ली से आ रहे हैं केवल नोएडा से आ रहे हैं उनको भी इंक्लूड करेंगे इसमें फॉर ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस हमारे में इसमें तीन ऑपरेशन बेसिकली तीन ऑपरेशन रहेंगे अपार्ट फ्रॉम uh, कि जो ऑथर डालेगा या ऑथर या फिर इलेस्ट्रेटर जो अपनी कॉमिक्स डाल रहा है उसके अलावा हम इसमें आई मेंटेनेंस का कार्य रहेगा और ऑप्टोमाइजेशन ऑफ वेबसाइट रहेगी हमारी तो इसके अंदर आईटी के मेंटेनेंस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और फिर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ऑफ वेबसाइट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि हमें यूआई अच्छा रखना ही है अगर यूआई अच्छा नहीं होगा तो कोई भी रीड करना नहीं चाहेगा लास्ट हमारी कस्टमर कंप्लेन कस्टमर यहाँ पे हमारे सब सभी लोग जितने भी जो हमारे आर्टिस्ट हैं इलिस्ट्रेटर्स हैं इवन जो रीडर्स हैं सभी हमारे कस्टमर्स हैं तो फॉर फाइनेंशियल मैं ध्रुव मित्र को बनाना चाहूंगा Coming from a business class family, मुझे धंधा से जाना आता है एंड दैट इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू सो आर रिवेन्यू मॉडल कंसिस्ट ऑफ एग्जिस्टिंग कॉमिक बुक कंपनीज दैट आर ऑलरेडी एस्टाब्लिश एज वेल एज द न्यू कॉमिक आर्टिस्ट दैट वील बी फाइंडिंग एंड वील बी पुटिंग इट ऑन आर प्लेटफॉर्म सो वी हैव अज्यूम दैट यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट इट्स अ नाइन पॉइंट टू वन बिलियन dollar company uh, that was the data from 2021 so we uh, wish to acquire all of it but let's start with the first 50000 that we wish for our first year uh, what we have uh, assumed is uh, we will be having a capture market of 50000 people uh, and we have assumed that uh, an, uh, a comic from a registered company will cost us uh, 500 rupees it actually cost a 1000 rupees if you get a physical copy but uh, considering that we will not be paying the printing cost the freight and all the government taxes uh, we have assumed that uh, we will uh, sell uh, will sell the uh, comic at 500 rupees uh, planning a 12 month revenue we uh, predict the revenue to be 30 crore rupees and for the new comic artist uh, we say that they actually uh, they minimum charge 100 rupees for their work and for their comic right uh so uh, based on that the 12 uh, month revenue uh, there uh, comes out to be uh, 6 crore next slide it totals up to 36 crore but uh, let's not get over our head that first year mein 36 crore ka dhanda karenge uh so we assume that uh, ki bare minimum 10% to iska karenge like 5000 users to at least hum gain kar sakte hain so can we conclude yeah uh so we are uh, assuming that we'll get a revenue of 3 uh, crore 60 lakh rupees and a platform commission of uh, 10% uh, will be charged that is the minimum uh, from all the uh, selling that will be made so we get a revenue of 36 uh, 36 lakh rupees uh, uh, coming to our cost uh, our major cost include uh, setting up our of our website maintaining the servers and a technical team that will be handling uh, all the complaints of the customers Uh, so for that we'll be needing a five. Sir, it's been seven minutes, twenty seconds. Yeah, just, and just, just a second. Just. Uh, five, uh, five lakh for that. Uh, we are assuming our marketing cost to be nine lakh rupees, and our miscellaneous cost, if that comes up, uh, is one lakh rupees. So at a total cost of fifteen lakh rupees, uh, uh, we'll be uh, mostly done with the uh, setting up and for uh, the marketing uh, that we'll need for the first year. Uh, so we are predicting a profit of uh, good enough of 21 lakh rupees in the first year itself that is actually a 140% profit on the investment of 15 lakh rupees that we make uh, just a second sir uh, so we have also introduced uh, our future uh, future expansion strategy which include the web3 concept of blockchain and uh, ethereum technology so we will be setting up a uh, coin uh, coin based uh, technology that is based on ethereum then Uh, we are also planning a, a rental model in which uh, what we'll be doing is uh, like uh, if you want to read uh, let's suppose a comic uh, tenten okay uh, uh, why would you buy the whole comic uh, and uh, if you are uh, uh, you just do it all yeah. more than 7 minutes uh, if you just want to read it for like 2 to 3 days you think that you'll complete the comic in 2 to 3 days just a first question is there anything out there or this is all supposition right now so this is actually on paper but uh, we are uh, that so is what we are seeing what i mean you put your it and that cost is 5 lakhs what is the average cost for a developer salary sorry sir average cost for a developer sir uh, actually uh, the average uh, what we have assumed is uh, more, uh, i have a lot of friends uh, in our uh, 
uh, in the IT sector. Uh, so uh, what uh, we are assuming is that they will be charging a uh, sixty thousand to seventy thousand rupees from us uh, for a year for just making for our, uh, yeah for just for making our, our website and just maintaining it. Talking server. Sixty thousand a month might be realistic. A year is not possible. Sir, it's just the setting up cost. And what's your domain name? Dreams Comics. No, sir. It's just comics. Is there a domain? No, no, sir. We haven't acquired. Uh, actually, we are seeking seed investment right now uh, to and start all of this. Of this supposition yeah. of you going to DC, Marvel, Tintin, Asterix. Yes, uh, there are lots of local players. Have you even reached out to anybody to check? Sir, we have mailed and we have re uh, received a positive response. From? Uh, sir, from DC, uh, DC Comics. What is uh, the cost? Sir, it's, that it's, it's, like it, they, uh, it's like they are saying that uh, <coughs> uh, we'll uh, get back to you soon and uh, that we are uh, really interested of what you are saying. Of, uh, no, have they given a number out to you? Sorry? Have they given a number no, here? Not yet, you? Not yet. So your suppositions over there are completely wrong. Because it's just not possible. Uh, you have to see the whole beauty of comic books is the physical aspect. The collectible aspect of a comic book is uh, where the beauty lies. Uh, anybody who wants to read wants to kind of read. It's not so easily translated like a Kindle kind of thing, right? And in terms of computation, Kindle also pretty much gives you all of this uh, right now for uh, free. As a, you can go to the marketplace and buy. Sir, uh, but uh, is there the same content available like the DC Comics and the uh, manga readers and all? Most of that stuff is there. Right. So you should kind of go back and look, do a competitor analysis to see, because most of the big players will not give you these free flowing rental kind of things where you can rent out a company. So Sir, that is actually, not. actually we are planning on a commission based model, not on a rental based model. Rental based model is for uh, the consumers like you, like you want to complete a comic in like three days. So you will be getting, uh, getting a rental based model in which you will uh, pay per day for the access uh, for access to the comic. Another thing I would suggest to go for a subscription model. Maybe just seeing a basic example of Netflix. Uh, sir, so, I have a lot of comics and I can read it. Sir, actually, uh, we started with a subscription model, but what uh, uh, issue we faced was and what we were guided is that for subscription based model, we'll be needing a very huge investment of actually uh, buying and getting licenses from the players. Uh, so, first, we'll, uh, we are planning to start with a commission based model so that we can actually see that we can grow in the market and then we'll start. Uh, subscription based model. We can actually also get huge investment. The estimates are totally not up to the mark. And, uh, so there are many like sir tell the uh, IT technology will cost you a huge rather than just five lakh rupees. And, uh, so so there are many other things to be developed for research for. And uh, I think accordingly you can pivot also how you want to get things and all. What is the, what is the problem actually you are trying to solve? Uh, sir, the accessibility of uh, comic books and the availability of new as well as the old comic books that are expensive in India. And who is your target audience? Uh, sir, uh, target audience ranges from 15 to 23 years of age. And to 23 years of age. Yeah, as well as the older generation who wants to get a nostalgic touch by reading the uh, that Chacha Chaudhary and Champa comics. Because uh, what we believe is, uh, if I am a 10 year old kid and I am saying uh, to my father ki uh, uh, Papa ki ye 500 rupee ki comics hai and digital platform hai, I want to read it. He'll obviously, uh, he'll be, uh, most of the cases he'll be like denied of the access to it. Uh, but if we place that uh, Chacha Chaudhary is also available and his father thinks that okay that was uh, something I used to read so my children also so has to read. it was one comic book or it was uh, how many books? Uh, so 500 rupees was for an average uh, one book. good yeah average good DC Marvel or this comic uh, but obviously so the jump can do a cost be. benefit analysis and, uh, so you understand agar mere organization mein chori ho rahi hai 20000 ka instrument nahi laga sakta is acha 20000 ki chori hota hai and, uh, so getting in point what i am trying to say to do the cost benefit analysis ki 500 pe on the other kya usko usse work mil rahi hai ek book ki ya ye subscription you see netflix has a 500 subscription model per month yes, infinite things and all you know charging for one book 500 yeah sir, so sir but the consumers are paying a thousand rupees for the same uh, book but in the physical aspect so you have to get this point again na you become when you say thousand bucks na your market size the one that you claim is nine billion is drastically reduced because a lot of that money is actually the collectible value of a comic, not the sale per se, but what they make of licensing, merchandising. So DC, the comic book sale revenue might be very minuscule, 
but the money comes from the movie production, the T-shirt sales, okay. that whole licensing model that they have in place, na, that's where the revenue comes in from. What, what he's trying to get at basically is that you need to actually do a much deeper dive at your model and your business first to look at what works and na, simply somebody, uh, not being, uh, when somebody replies to an email, it's not a positive sign. It's simply like if you go to a VC, na, they simply say, we'll review and get back to you. Now that doesn't mean they've given you the money. Take so you need to kind of push and get a number out, ke bhi, what are we looking at? Ye supposition is, this whole revenue model is uh, flawed. Thank you. Do you know the market size of construction industry in India? Six zero nine billion dollar. Same in world. One three five seven billion dollar. Problem: high cost of construction and manpower. In efficient energy management. Next solution: can you three developers? I am the founder of company. My name is Vansh. Only company in India which provides or in the world using DSC, Digital Construction Security. Sorry. Digital Secure Construction using Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality. Next. DSC, Digital Secure Construction, is a software which we analyze and monitor our construction ko, using Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality. Camera and drones analyze करेंगे कि हमारा work कितना complete हो चुका है, कितना नहीं हुआ है, किस area में हो चुका है, कितना material हमारा left है, कितना material हमें चाहिए होगा. Second, digital image processing. वो आपको बताएगा कि वो area कितना सही है, आपकी कितनी buildings के लिए कितना वहाँ पे कितने floors की building बना सकते हैं, किस type की building बना सकते हैं आप. और documentation. Daily के daily आपको update जाएगा कितना आपका work complete हो चुका है, कितना आपका material left है, कितना आपको material चाहिए होगा उसके आगे के लिए. Next. Use case. Building material, you have to tell how much material you have to use, how much material you have to use. Second, manpower. You have to tell how much time you have to use, how much manpower you have to use. Second, programming report. You have to update your daily reports, how much time you have to update your daily reports, how much time you have to update your daily reports, how much time you have to update your daily reports. Second, real model. This is new, now there is no one who is working on it. ये हम एक डेवलप करेंगे कि वर्चुअल रियलिटी के थ्रू कि आप जो भी बिल्डिंग देखने जा रहे हैं जो भी बिल्डिंग आप डेवलप कर रहे हैं उसे आप रियल मॉडल के थ्रू आप देख सकते हैं कि हम किस टाइप की बिल्डिंग में रहना चाहते हैं किस टाइप की बिल्डिंग डिजाइन करना चाहते हैं एक रियल वर्चुअल रियलिटी के थ्रू डीएससी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड एनर्जी एफिशियंसी ये एक ऐप है जो मैंने डेवलप करी है ये पेटेंट भी है इसमें क्या करते हैं हम एक ग्लास की थिकनेस को प्रोवाइड करते हैं कितनी हमारी ग्लास की थिकनेस है जिसे कि नॉर्मल देख सकते हैं हमारा भूमेश्वर है वहां पर हमारा विंड फ्लो हो जाता होता है वहां पर साइक्लोन्स भी आते हैं तो नॉर्मली 44 माले की बिल्डिंग है अब ये तो है नहीं कि फर्स्ट फ्लोर से लेके 44 माले तक हमारा नॉर्मल एक साइज का ही हमारा ग्लास लगेगा या फाइव इंच का तो वो हमारी कोस्ट भी कटिंग करेगा हमारा पैसा बचाएगा और एक सिक्योरिटी प्रोवाइड करेगा अब मैं एक बिल्डर हूँ कोई मेरे पास बिल्डिंग लेने आएगा मैं उसे बताऊंगा कि हमारे पास ये टेक्नोलॉजी है आपको ये सिक्योरिटी मिल रही है तो दूसरे बंदे को अच्छा लगेगा कि हाँ यार ये कुछ प्रोवाइड कर रहा है सिक्योरिटी भी दे रहा है हमें दे रहा है और पैसे भी बचा रहा है क्योंकि अगर हम अलग अलग फ्लोर पे अलग अलग ग्लास यूज करेंगे कि जो कि मैं बताया कि कितने वहाँ की कितनी फ्रीक्वेंसी रहेगी कितने एमएम ग्लास हमें यहाँ पे चाहिए होगा तो हमारे पैसे ही बचाएगा और हमें सिक्योरिटी प्रोवाइड करेगा वेदर फोरकास्टिंग है ये आपको कंस्ट्रक्शन में यूज करेगी कि आपको किस टाइम पे कैसा कंस्ट्रक्शन है जैसे कि आप देख रहे हैं ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हो रही है सेप्टेम्बर में अच्छी खासी बारिश हो रही है जो कि नहीं होती है इतनी तो आपको बताया कि किस टाइप से आपको किस एरिया में किस टाइम पर आपको काम करना चाहिए किस टाइप का काम आपको नहीं करना चाहिए इंसुलेटिंग मटीरियल पता है क्या होता है इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल? नॉर्मली हम अपनी बिल्डिंग्स में इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल यूज करते हैं जिससे कि जैसे कि यहाँ पे एसी चल रहा है अब नॉर्मली हम एसी चला सकते हैं घंटे तो आप ऐसा पूछता हूँ कितने टाइम तक यहाँ पे कूलिंग रहेगी इस मटीरियल को यूज करके छह से सात घंटे तक आप उस कूलिंग को रख सकते हैं जिससे कि आपकी पांच घंटे की जो एसी की बिजली है वो बच रही है हम एक बिल्डिंग बना देते हैं पर हम उसके आगे के यूजर के लिए कुछ नहीं सोचते हैं कि यूजर को क्या क्या फायदा है क्या नुकसान है अब ये चीज हम अपनी बिल्डिंग में बताएंगे यूजर को कि आपका छह से पांच घंटे की बिजली बच पा रही है डेली की डेली इससे हमारा एनवायरमेंट भी सेव हो रहा है हमारा पैसा बच रहा है तो यूजर क्यों नहीं आएगा क्यों नहीं लेगा मार्केट अपॉर्चुनिटीज बेसिकली ग्लोबल उसके अकॉर्डिंग दो से जो हमारी कंस्ट्रक्शन मार्केट है वो टू टू एट सेवन बिलियन डॉलर की है मेरे अकॉर्डिंग अगर मैं किसी बिल्डर को नॉर्मली से सॉफ्टवेयर उसके अकॉर्डिंग जो से चाहिए हमारे 
मतलब हमारी दूसरे साइड पे जो जो मेरे इंस्ट्रूमेंट चाहिए उसके अकॉर्डिंग अगर मैं उसमें टेन परसेंट ही बचाता हूँ जैसे कि पांच करोड़ की बिल्डिंग है तो उसमें टेन परसेंट ही बचाता हूँ जैसे कि पचा, वो पचास लाख रुपए तो मैं उसमें से अगर उसमें टेन परसेंट भी लूंगा पांच लाख रुपए तो वो मुझे इजिली देगा क्योंकि मैं उसे इतने सारी चीजें प्रोवाइड कर रहा हूँ जिससे कि उसकी बिल्डिंग भी इजिली बिकेगी उसे सिक्योरिटी भी जा रही है उसका पैसा ही बच रहा है तो कोई भी बिल्डर आराम से इस चीज को लेना चाहेगा दोनों ऐप मेरे पास है इंसुलेटिंग मटीरियल वाली ग्लास वाली जो सॉफ्टवेयर उस पर काम चल रहा है तो दोनों ऐप मेरे पास कंप्लीट है वो मेरे जेब में है मेरे फोन में मेरी टीम के बारे में माय नेम इज वंश आई एम अ फाउंडर बीटेक थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट माय फ्रेंड अनंत त्यागी को फाउंडर सेम स्टूडेंट बीटेक थर्ड ईयर हम दोनों मिले थे सेकंड ईयर में हम लोगों ने ऑग्यूमेंटरी रियलिटी वर्चुअल रियलिटी के ऊपर प्रोजेक्ट्स कर रखे हैं जैसे गेम डेवलप किया हम लोगों ने हम लोगों ने बैडमिंटन गेम डेवलप किया है इस तरह से हम लोग मिले हैं थैंक यू कुछ क्वेश्चन सर मैं रहने वाला सारंगपुर का हूँ स्टडी में रुड़की मेरा ये आइडिया कहाँ से आया फ्रॉम द एआई बिट टू द कंस्ट्रक्शन सर ये हमारे फैकल्टी के थ्रू हम लोगों ने दो पेटेंट करे हैं अपने एक हमने ऐप बनाई ग्लास की एक हमने बनाई इंसुलेटिंग मटेरियल की इसके साथ ही सर हमने यूँ तो हमने एनर्जी एफिशेंसी के लिए यूज़ किया है इसी के साथ हमने कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट पर जाके हमने देखा कि क्या क्या प्रॉब्लम्स आती हैं जैसे कि आप देख सकते हैं कि हम नॉर्मली इतना सारा मटीरियल मंगा लेते हैं वो हमारा वेस्ट भी होता है हम उसके यूज नहीं कर पाते हैं अब हम उसी चीज़ को हम अगर डिजिटल प्रोसेसिंग के थ्रू या फिर हम ड्रोन या इमेज के थ्रू हम बता सकते हैं कि हमारा कितना वर्क कंप्लीट हो चुका है कितना वर्क हमारा कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ है तो सर में कितना फायदा मिलेगा हमारे टाइम भी सेव होगा या फिर जो हमारे कस्टमर्स हैं हमें बता सकते हैं कि आपका जो बिल्डिंग है सर दो ऐप पे एक तो हमारी ग्लास ऐप है एंड सेकेंड सर हमारे बहुत नहीं सर अलग अभी नहीं सर वो चल रहा है रजिस्टर होना सर फाइल हुआ है सर कॉलेज की साइड से हम लोगों ने पेटेंट किया है सर ये कॉलेज की साइड से किया यस सर तो दोनों ऐप सर मेरे पास है कंप्लीट है सर आप देखना चाहे तो देख सकते हैं डाउन स्ट्रीट यहां पे नहीं कर सकते सामने सर नहीं सर फोन में है तो फोन में आपको देखना सर आप अलग से दिखा सकते हो ना देख सकते हो दूसरे से भी है टू मिनट्स हां ये तो है वहां पे कितना विंड प्रेशर है तो उसका पता सामने डेटा हम लोगों ने दिया कि कितने वहां पे साइक्लोन्स आते हैं क्या-क्या वहां पे हर्डल्स आते हैं कि जो हमारी ग्लास की थिकनेस है क्योंकि जो हमारी बड़ी-बड़ी बिल्डिंग्स हैं सर नॉर्मली ग्लास की होती हैं सर उसके अकॉर्डिंग किया कितने एम एम ग्लास वहाँ पे चाहिए होगा सर कौन से एक्टिव हैं कोई भी चला जाए तो बोला इंस्टॉलेशन कोई भी चला जाए सर वो नॉर्मली जो बिल्डर्स के पास सर एक मतलब जो ग्लास कंपनी है उनके पास एक नॉर्मली सॉफ्टवेयर होता है वो उसके अकॉर्डिंग बताते हैं कि वो अलग अलग टाइप से ग्लास करते हैं जैसे हमारे फाइव टाइप्स के ग्लास होते हैं तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग देते हैं बट सर ये क्या है हमारा डेटा के ऊपर है कि हमने जो पुराना डेटा लिया है क्योंकि सर हमारे से ये देख रहे हैं कि क्लाइमेट चेंज हो रहा है तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम जो ये चीज़ अब तक सर आई नहीं है मतलब अकॉर्डिंग हम देख सकते हैं कितने कितने आपको पता होगा अपनी रिसर्च के ग्लास कंपनीज हैं उनको जैसे ग्लास कंपनी सेल करते हैं वो क्या टूल्स सर अब तक वो ये बात मतलब इस टाइम कुछ नहीं करती है अपनी रिसर्च या गैस कर रहे हो सर मैं दस क्लास वालों के पास जाके पूछे कि तुम बिल्डिंग में जब सप्लाई करते हो क्या दस सवाल पूछते हो सर वो तो ये बोलते हैं तो तो अपना ओपिनियन बता रहे हो कि नहीं सर उनसे पूछा भी है मतलब तो कितने लोगों से पूछा तो दो तीन कंपनीज हैं मतलब ये पानीपत में सर गए थे डी एस सी कॉम्पिटिशन में इस वाली आपको लेके तो उन्होंने बात करी थी वहाँ के जो नहीं सर वो उनसे पूछा that are organized by us and managed by us ourselves uh, what we basically do is we basically organize day parties in clubs have you ever noticed that clubs are usually empty in days and on weekdays what are done nothing there's just parties in uh, there are just parties on weekends so what we do is we organize day parties in clubs and what's our unique selling proposition it's that we provide a platform to street style dancers and street style shoppers where they can showcase their talent and we organize some kind of events for them so that they can get an opportunity to show their talent to the young ones and all and so that the public can know about their particular talents they don't get a platform 
not everywhere not every young talent can get a platform like to showcase their uh, talents on dance tv shows and and etc so we provide the talent a pre we provide a platform to them so that they can get an opportunity to go further and do something in the in their careers so what's our future vision our future vision is to take our event management company to such a platforms where we can organize concerts and uh, live music performances and that will be fully managed by us so what other event management companies do is they source their work to different agencies like for advertisement they select a particular agency which takes uh, some amount of commission from uh, from them and they have a particular ticketing partner which charge up to 30% of commission on the total tickets but what we do is we uh, we do everything within our company so it reduces the cost and we get the more re- we get more return on our investment till date we had planned two events which were day events and the amount of return we got was uh, we got was two to three times our investment on our first party we uh, initially invested um, an amount of 9000 rupees and were able to uh, gain 24000 out of it and on our second event we invested around 7000 and were able to gain three times of it that is 21000 what's our prime focus our t- target audience is a uh, is in the age group of 18 to 30 years that is they are uh, usually more active in their social life and are not busy with their families and we impulsively advertise unlike other organizers <coughs> we impulsively advertise it on email marketing and we are into social media marketing i am uh, i am myself a digital marketing creator so it uh, it provides an opportunity for us to advertise it social uh, socially on various media platforms using facebook advertising and instagram advertising <coughs> our mainly competitors are not that fierce there is no fierce competition in chandigarh itself what we do, what we plan to do is we we want to just not be limited in chandigarh and the be a wider scope for every event management company so that we can organize our events not only in chandigarh but also in other metropolitan cities our revenue is generally 2 to 3 times our investment and what how we gain our revenue is like uh, if a, a suppose a club uh, do a total billing of rupees 1 lakh what we get is 25 to 30% of the total billing amount that they gained so that becomes 25000 from one event that can be done four times in a in a in a month that is uh, in every week we plan one such event So that's it. Any questions? Uh, just a basic question, Varuna. How are you different from the other event man? I mean, this is just event management business, correct? Yeah. So how is it different from all the others that are out there? And how do you kind of? I mean, the whole idea of a startup is scale, right? So uh, how do you kind of scale this as compared to? Take It's it a very time? scalable business, as you know that event management company, and there is no fierce competition in this. now uh, talking about how we are different from other event management companies that is the uh, we don't source our work to different agencies what other event management companies do is they advertise uh, for advertising they select a particular agency and get a, a ticketing partner for their total customers that they get but what we do is <coughs> we just do it within our company that is we advertise the product ourselves and ticketing partner there is no particular ticketing partner if there is a t- uh, ticketing partner there no such that ch- they charge money from us like uh, they charge money from customers that is very minimal amount that is 5% of total uh, total uh, amount that they ca- uh, that they give like for 1000 uh, uh, rupees of one ticket they just uh, pay 50 rupees that's a very minimal amount and what uh, other book my show and shout low what others do is they charge from the company that is us for like 30% of the total amount that's a very huge and it reduces the profits for a company can you give the example of one of the events you did uh, what exactly did you do uh, sir what exactly we do, uh, did in our uh, past two events event? yeah uh, we planned a day event and we advertised it heavily it was our first event we were not very sure of how many customer we would gain but through social media advertising that is facebook advertising and all we advertised it heavily so uh, we 
just pre book the tickets and there was on spot booking so uh, we we were able to get the customer around 5 uh, 500 what of customers what all you did let us know what all activities you did <coughs> we booked the venue first of all <coughs> and then we advert, uh, then we uh, appointed a graphic designer which avenue which avenue was that which venue was that bagem booth in sector 26 <coughs> uh, and then we uh, appointed a graphic designer for the posters and all so that we can get some uh, something attractive so then next what we do <coughs> i advertised it on social media using facebook advertising and that uh, almost covered Four lakh of population in our uh, tri city itself. We didn't advertise it. Uh, advertised it in different countries. See, this kind of business is basically based on you being popular in the college crowd, right? Yeah. People want to come to this party because you are popular, and people want to come to your party, right? But the mo- the moment you age up, right, you become a senior or you become more of called college. I may not want to attend your party. So how do you like? Scale? Oh. This is a good side hustle to earn. pocket money and everything is a very good side hustle but this is not organizing parties right because you are popular right now is not a business that will transcend beyond you you want to try so to understand so what the future vision is we just don't want to be limited like doing parties and all we want to plan some uh, live concerts and live music performances uh, like almost from uh, how many students we are sitting here i guess everyone attended here ap dillo show what they did was they heavily heavily advertised it and everyone just want to attend their party even the ticket at the end phase was one to one per, per person ticket was for rupees 10000 but even i purchased it why we purchased it because there is a hype so that's the thing we want to enter this industry and it requires a lot of investment But the return that you get is two to three times that particular but investment. But your your idea when you're saying is basically the party is during the daytime, right? Yeah. Which typically youngsters don't like, as I understand. If I look into the revenue that you're talking, twenty-five thousand rupees. If I see that two event companies who are doing same thing, ga and champion showers, okay. probably make ten lakh of rupees a night. And when you're talking twenty-five thousand rupees, you have to understand your business model, how it is scalable, with the with the two companies which are available in Canada. <laughs> we are the organizers, but they are the clubs that make the money. No, they are no one. They are like you. They are just three people who just go to the places like you know that you said. They do the whole thing that you do. The only thing is they do it at night. Yeah, at night it's more profitable, of course. So why would you, why why would I invest in your idea instead of investing in their idea? Uh, like uh, talking about particularly day parties and all, like mostly procreators doesn't allow their children for something like nightlife. If we talk about teenagers and all, but they want a particular social life. They want to go into parties, and there's a crowd. There's a very decent crowd. Talking about 500 to 600 people uh, in day parties is it's not that very low amount of people. That's a very decent amount. Thank, Thank you so much. the opportunity to talk to like let us let me get the option to talk to you so i will start with my solution for strategy and the problem so what i'm trying to build is the swiggy and the mic oh so salvation right yeah so am i audible yeah so my solution is i am building swiggy and zomato for healthcare where you only need to choose like choose your select your doctor which doctor you want to go to and picking you up from the home doing all the formalities at the hospital and then doing your lab tests <coughs> pharmacies everything will be taken care of your healthcare manager that is what we called my doctor so uh, the problems that give rise to this idea myra was there was two type of problems that healthcare in india is facing right now that is fiercely expensive like fiercely increasing medical expenses frequent appointment delays misdiagnosis and absence of chronic care management systems like people who are suffering from uh hypertension and diabetes they do not have access to chronic care management systems and doctors are facing the issues like uh, patients do not maintain their accurate history and 
lack of available technology and understanding when a patient comes with the loads of prescription, understanding all of those prescriptions without any technology becomes very cumbersome. And also lack of patient awareness. So our solution is twofold. So we'll integrate our solution with Ayushman Bharat Digital Mission, which is a uh, electronic health record maintenance and seamless care delivery platform. So we are uh, health tech companies and TPA insurers, they are, they are formed the allied private partners. So we are actually the health tech companies that are there in the Aishman Bharat Mission. So <coughs> what we are actually building is, we are building a digital healthcare ecosystem which will be allied with Aishman Bharat Digital Mission for patient history management. This is a digital patient history system. Also interactive patient healthcare dashboard where you can have all of your clinical data summarized at your palm. You can see how been your health has been performing so far. Also, we have created a delay minimizing system that I can say out loud what it does and how it does, but it can shorten the time you wait at the hospitals. We have created an <coughs> EHR for the doctors to enable the clinics, like we'll enable the clinics with Myra's EHR system that will enable them to analysis patient data at a much like seamlessly. Also, appointments to last mile care delivery. So we call it ghar se ghar tak. Aapko ghar se leke jana, aapka pura formalities karana, फिर उसके बाद आपका फार्मेसी लैब टेस्ट या फिर आपको होम केयर जो भी जरूरत हो आप बस अपना डॉक्टर चूज करेंगे बाकी सब कुछ हम देख लेंगे एंड आल्सो वी आर क्रिएटिंग अ मार्केट प्लेस विद ऑल द डॉक्टर्स होम केयर सर्विसेज एंड अदर प्लेसेस लाइक ऑल एवरीथिंग एट अ सिंगल प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर लाइक प्राइसिंग ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड फॉर आवर रेवेन्यू एज वेल सो आवर बिजनेस मॉडल इज वी चार्ज फॉर दिस कंप्लीट कंसल्टेंसी केयर दैट इज पिकिंग ऑफ द पेशेंट फ्रॉम होम then uh, then uh, with uh, uh, the patient will be like accompanied with a medical clinical professional then we charge for the lab tests and the medicines and patient as the patient is choosing the doctor he or she will be paying the <coughs> amount and along with there will be some other charges that we pay for this we we'll charge 10% commission on every transaction on the platform and there will be monthly quarterly and yearly subscriptions for the patients so our target market is the maternity healthcare market right now so the total addressable market stands as 330 billion rupees for the financial year 20 to 26 our serviceable and um, like available market that is a market available to the private players is at 231 billion and it's growing at a rate of 11 to 12% in the financial year 20 to 60 2026 and a sub, uh, serviceable obtainable market that is some that is the market that is catered by private maternity care chains who caters to the mid to luxury uh, segment of patients they have uh, their market is valued at 34 billion in the financial year uh, 16 to 20 and which is now stands at 66 billion so our go to market plan is the services that we will be providing is the maternity services like ghar se ghar tak koi bhi pregnant woman uh, it, she can be in any stage like our target audience is pre post and neonatal so we will help them with their logistics so that their family members like who are in the later stages of pregnancy when the appointments become very frequent so sometimes they face like uh, family members who uh, like forcefully need to take leaves from their jobs and uh, sometimes they are not available during the clinic hours they come late we have done a thorough market research to understand what happens to uh, the pregnant woman in the later stages of pregnancy and we help with them with the like clinical professional will be with them throughout the stage so uh, no sense of like uh, no sense of loneliness and total convenience sure so our partnerships with uh, like maternity care hospitals and clinics like cloud nine uh, motherhood uh, and other like baby hospitals and all the pharmacies that we want to tie up with hospital pharmacies generic pharmacies then there are fran these franchisee pharmacies then there are chandigarh based nursing services and other institutes will be taking care of our nursing services and logistics will be partnering with hospital ambulances and our own fleet of cars delivery channel is from this hospitals also this maternity clinics maternity care hospitals like there are three segments multi specialty hospital stand alone maternity hospitals and maternity care chains so all these three are our ch channel also from home health care and our customer acquisition will be through strategic partnership with this private hospitals then digital marketing seo discounts maternity workshops and events and also with the premium model so our key differentiators uh, so like our major competitors are medibody one mg practo netmeds you can see but none of them provide your outpatient logistic support we have online consultation offline consultation lab test pharmacy everything but none of them provides doorstep paramedic <coughs> service 
health care manager, this will be a person who will have the total access to your health care and you will be completely as you, you do your own work and he or she will take care of your health. So this is, a, this is not a bot, this is an actual medical professional. Also we have the home care services and the minimum delay appointment systems where you will be ensured that will be waited for the less, less amount of time at the hospital. So our key targets for the next year is uh, we want to finish our MVP development by February of 23, launch pilot in Chandigarh by April of next year. Then we'll uh, like then we'll be spreading our operations to Tri City. We want to pilot in Delhi by 24, and then we want to start with our elderly care pilot because the elderly patients who spares to children stay away from them. They need this support more. But elderly care is so complicated. But maternity care has a clarity that what stage needs what kind of like clinical support. So last slide. So my team consists of me, I am from Isa Mohali and I am a student in mathematics. I have also done my operation research student at ISB. Then Ridhiman is our CTO and co-founder. He is at Chennai Mathematical Institute and he does his studies in data science. And we have a team of doctors and advisors from PJI along with other private hospitals. We are currently incubated at IRISE at Isa Mohali's technology business incubator with data analytics partner of WISCAMP and our market research partner is Whisper. So. I'm how is your revenue model or how you are going to earn your revenue? What is the source? Yeah. So, uh, it's not mentioning the 10 percent, <coughs> but kitne ka 10 percent and from which sources and all. Yeah. So, koi bhi uh, transaction jo bhi hamare platform se ho, <coughs> will be taking 10 percent of that, like any medicine delivery, any medicine order. Kitni transactions karoge to bataoge, ek karoge, ek karoge, ek karoge, karoge, dasa dasa karoge. Kitni expected hai? So, Kitni, usme kaun se India mein? You mentioned the stages. March, April, May, and all. But what will happen in the first stage? So, in MDC, we will be in the first stage. Plus, you have the doctors or medical practitioners, how many practitioners are on board, how will you provide service, how will you travel, and if there is a subscription, how will you keep the subscription? How will you keep the subscription? How will you keep the subscription? So, there are many things. See, I'll tell you another thing. How do you discount your medicines cheaper than Tracto or Pristine Care? That is not possible. We won't do that. Because you know what happens is I know somebody who took it. You know, point is they are discounting because they've got a huge valuation and doing it at a national level. Yeah. Right? For a local based company to get the kind of discount which they get, it is not possible. Yeah. That you that you understand, that right? Understand, yeah. So what happens for is let us say I'm a patient, I see medicines, price of medicines on pristine care or yeah. fracto and I see it on your platform. Yeah. Obviously they'll be cheaper. Yeah. Right? So, you know, instinctively, I think that this guy is making huge margins. Yeah. He's not, you know, these companies are offering this discount. Why should I get a, this kind of concession on your platform? Hmm. It just creates a very big ambiguity in the mind of patients. You I know a couple of companies who tried this locally and they face this problem. Exactly. So, the thing is that we are not a pharmacy delivery company. Sure. We are doing a healthcare manager service. That is the one person hmm. that accompanies you throughout your clinical journey. The person is a referential person, the person may vary. There is one medical officer sitting with all of your medical records. So no one likes to go to hospitals, right? No one likes the hustles at the receptions. So on the way, when I'm going to the hospitals, our back end already will take care of your formalities at the reception. So you may, may or may not buy medicines from us. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, that is an upset. Okay. But how will you do those things? Whether you will keep a till about 20% for 1%? No, 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 no. So one person going along with how much that person will cost it? Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll have contracts with nursing, uh, like, like nursing services, will provide us nurses on a rotation basis. But how much it is going to cost to a customer? If I am so taking your service, how much it is going to cost? Suppose your consultancy charges are at 800 rupees. So you'll get our services at 2000, including of that 800 rupees. So, so what he's trying to, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. what he's trying to get at is you have a projection of your costs and everything, you know, what is what, uh, Excel sheet somewhere where you can actually yeah. show the number. Really. So actually the thing is that we are currently developing our MVP, we are not out in the market yet. So we are competed in several contests, like we are selected in STPI's Chunati for 25 lakhs of seed grant, mm -hmm. then we are selected in STPI's MedTech for another incubation support. So it's only been four months we have started and we have won <coughs> four competitions so far. So with the money, we want to go to market. So these partnerships that you show? We have. LOI. Uh -huh. So you have kind of reached out to Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. That is what I was doing for the last four months. I was been spying throughout the market, talking to customers, what they are <coughs> feeling and what are their needs are. Yeah. So Rishabh, uh, yeah. first of all, MS Technology is a very good idea and you've done 
pretty much good homework. Uh, so that's fine. But right now it is at a you know <coughs> stage developing. where you are actually developing the idea, and that's yeah. a good thing. So, mm -hmm. of course, how do you really think of uh, <coughs> scaling up to a national level? So, pregnancy is a global thing, right? We can go to every state, like this cloud nine is a maternity care chain. They have partnerships, like they have hospitals in every state. So like there are maternity care chains, we can have partnerships with all of them. And we can reach pan India level only for pregnancy. But the, the service is more lucrative even for people whose parents live away from them. Like I am a student, my home is in Calcutta, I stay in Punjab. You know, and I your think problem is understood, problem yeah. statement, no doubt about it. Yeah. Question is, I am uh, talking about a business. <laughs> You are going to do it in Chandigarh. Wow, very good. Yeah. Now I, you're thinking that okay, I have to take it pan India. Yeah. How will you take? It? So, that's with partnerships with these organizations. They have already pan India basis of like pan India based like Max, Fortis. They have pan India presence, and they will be our delivery channels. We'll start slow from the, like, we'll take their help. They will have a handhold for the like no. in every state by one. They won't do that. But anyway, like, I think that is something where you need to. We will discuss about it anyway. Yeah. Also, we want to get into the elderly care service, but before that, we want to have a good grasp of the pregnancy, like maternity care market. Then after all, we will go for that. So, we should choose one, one focus. We yeah, just very niche our market. Uh, so, it's a good idea to be, you know, one inch wide and one feet deep. Yeah. If you get the feedback and expense of that, then you can go to other... Uh, elderly care is already very heavily tapped also. There are many competitors for elderly care. They mainly provide home care services and there is a uh, like track so they provide full day services. Huh? So whether you are home care or something, everything they are providing. Yeah. But maybe you pick up maybe as a maternity. Do research only on that. If you go to it will take a lot of time. Sure. And post two years you will say I am still doing yeah. So take, take one service. Do everything on that service. Sure. Then you can scale to other things. Maybe medicine, maybe delivery to other things. To yeah. other things then take anything. Not just maternity. Yeah. Take anything. But one thing at a time. So how much you are looking for funding? Anything? No. Up to 25 lakhs. That and is what will you do for that 25 lakhs? Yeah. So we will start with a like. So far we have been doing our market research on our own and with this uh, allied partnership but we want to conduct a thorough market search before we go into the market and that was quoted at around like 1.5 to 2 lakhs the market is the kind of market research that we want to do then we want to uh, then we want to have a full stack development along with that Ayushman Bharat digital mission provides a like back product development but you the UI UX development may bara lag lagega at least fir there is market research Usme do lakh lag jayega. Fir there is partnership with uh, nursing stations. Then there is logistics charges. Uh, uh, cabs rentals ke saath, uh, partnership karna hai. Unke saath repo banana hai. Or uh, like 25 lakhs is the minimum that we need to without like. Uske baad bhi working capital lagega. But 25 with, like without 25 lakhs, less than 25 lakhs is tough. Thank you. Thank you so much. Dear. Everyone, my name is Sakshwat and I'm the founder of Primals. And we are helping companies <coughs> analyzing their sensitive data without compromising privacy. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, I'll manage. So let me tell you the story first. Uh, why we started. Initially, we were actually an OCR company that was selling uh, a handwritten, I mean, that was selling the OCR software to hospitals. And uh, we, we are about to close a deal with Fortis Hospital to <coughs> convert their handwritten doctor's prescription into typed digital versions. But then we lost that deal. You know why? Because they couldn't trust us with their uh, sensitive data of their patient and business data. We, uh, I mean, uh, even if we lost that deal, but we realized that this is just a trust issue. They couldn't trust us because we are a small company. And similar to us, there are a lot of companies in the entire world. There are 360,000 uh, ML companies in the US alone and all those are small and medium companies which suffer with this trust related issues with their clients. And that's why we are building this solution. But first, let me tell you what the problem is. So typically what happens is enterprises have to share the data with the service providers who are having this uh, model on their servers and then with, with their model, they are actually generating the results and giving back to the enterprises. That's how this model works right now. 
but we are trying to change that with our solution. This is multi-party computation, and using this technology, we are trying to con I mean, uh, divide the data coming from the hospital, or not just hospital, any hospital, banks, and any kind of enterprise uh, servers to three different forms, and those are being saved, uh, saved uh, with three, uh, uh, three servers, one from the hospital, uh, one from the enterprise, one from their uh, client, service providers, and one with us. And then we are trying to generate results in a distributed format, and then giving back the actual result to the uh, enterprise itself. So the entire message is at any point of time, neither the data nor the results are getting shared with neither us or nor the service provider. It's only safe with the enterprise itself. That's like a huge deal breaking thing for them. And with this uh, solution, we have already developed the proof of concept for uh, our training and uh, inference of linear regression model. Even if linear regression model is not comparable with the complex, OC, uh, complex ML models like speech to text and OCR things, but it's the backbone of it because like all these things are involving addition and multiplication in the background. And we have already received some letter of interest from our potential customers which are uh, somewhat big and we are right now in a prototyping stage. Uh, the use case of this technology can be really huge because in healthcare alone I have already experienced this uh, problem with OCR. There are speech text as well and also like if you just go out uh, in the smart city like uh, movement kind of thing, uh, you are seeing the cameras and all. Uh, but the government doesn't want their uh, data to be uh, shared with any other third party analyzer who, who is actually using that data and analyzing and giving the result back to the government. So we can have implication with the government as well. Similarly in financial services, banks also are trying to digitize their entire uh, services and uh, there also we have an uh, model. But the main thing is we actually are trying to do something that will allow defense to open up their gates for all the third party service providers. Right now it's really close. If you want to do a deal with the defense, you have to go and sit inside their servers and then uh, that will be a closed deal. But uh, they are not allowing their data to leave their entire servers. What we are trying to do is uh, that will enable them to perform computation with those third party service provider without compromising on trust or privacy. So the market estimation uh, of this entire global data privacy, uh, so, uh, sensitive data privacy software market is 2.36 billion dollars. But that's about to grow pro a projection of uh, 25.85 uh, billion dollars by 2029. There are few companies, I'm not saying no, but there are few companies who are actually working on a global scale. Infor is the biggest one, uh, and they are into analytics, and Novo is on genomic and health data, and we are trying to do it for ML. Even if ARPA and CyberWo are more into cryptocurrency, uh, we're not looking at that. So uh, we are trying to differentiate from all these three companies by uh, providing our services in ML. And also we believe that there is a need in the uh, Indian market as well because after, uh, after this uh, Oken and uh, Oken in financial sector and uh, UHI in healthcare sector, their uh, data is really accessible. Right now, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, in few for five or six years, it will be accessible. And when there, when, whenever there will be an accessibility issue solved, there will be obviously transparency, uh, I mean, uh, privacy related issues that will rise. And when that happens, we are going to ready for the market. Uh, uh, talking about the financials, so uh, right now we are prototyping, and uh, if you can see this uh, uh, slide, uh, in the first year we are trying to target five companies. Uh, five ML service providers. In the second, we're trying to get to uh, 15, and then third, 45, and then fourth, 86, and five, 257. So uh, with that, uh, we're actually having a revenue model of monthly subscription that is gonna be $500 per month for, uh, of a subscription for uh, these ML service providers. That will allow them to perform sensitive uh, computation on their sensitive data for uh, 100,000 uh, uh, times. So that's our model right now, but that might also change, not a problem. Uh, for the go-to-market strategy, like uh, our model is simple. First, we, right now we are actually trying to get the service providers on board. Once we have one service provider, we'll try to reach out to their enterprise clients, and then from their enterprise client, because like once they understand the benefit out of it, they will try to implement this solution on the entire uh, service providers. I mean, uh, for all kind of service providers. So uh, with that, we will be entering the market, and this is our team. Uh, Bhavish has already done his two years of research project on this technology itself. He has already published a research paper on this as well. And that's why we think uh, we can uh, build this product in a great manner. Right now we're looking for uh, a ask of 4 crore rupees. And uh, that will help us to build the framework 
and also build the compiler that will be uh, that can be replicated and scalable uh, that can be made scalable by building this compi compiler uh, for all uh, kind of uh, I mean once we build a model for OCR we can implement the same thing to all the OCR service providers and once we build a model for speech to text it will be also uh, scalable to all the speech to text so that's it everyone so uh, with uh, the last message of the entire presentation if you uh, go through is we are actually trying to help companies protect their data because we are saying don't let anyone take control of your data it's your and it should be kept with you only <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Just one. So you've done. Could you just talk more about pilot with 15 customers? Who were they? No, no, no. We haven't done. That's, that's the money required. Uh, that's why. So you so require four crore rupees to do pilot with 15. Yes. yes. Okay. We have already got LOIs. Yeah. Let's talk. Yeah. So, uh, is the technology already built? So uh, we have already done it for uh, proof of concept level for linear regression model, but for <laughs> complex machine learning models like uh, speech to text and OCR, we are uh, up, I mean, uh, that will take time, uh, six months. Yeah, that's why. Need, need, need so it's just the two of you right now, and he's the guy kind of driving the technology singularly. Uh, it's actually both of us. Yeah. So, but I'm talking like uh, he's the lead, yeah, in technology and not like. So you kind of. At least I understand you need your MVP, but have you kind of run the data, run data sets through it to kind of see how it works? Basically? So, uh, I mean, it will be slightly technical if I go through the video. Just uh, if there is a short, how long is it? Uh, it's three minutes, but like I'll just, uh, okay. It's actually really technical because there is a terminal interface. I am not sure whether uh, people will understand it or not right now. Yeah. But uh, what we are trying to do in here uh, is we're actually trying to divide the data in three different forms. So let's say there is a image of a cat. Uh, okay, this is not how actually it, uh, ha it is happening, but like uh, let me give an example. So let's say this is a uh, uh, there is a number ten. We we'll actually divide that number uh, into three parts, like uh, minus five, minus fifteen, and plus thirty. And those three things are saved in uh, three servers. Similarly, the machine learning service provider will have their model parameters as well. And once uh, I mean uh, because like linear regression is also a, some kind of a mathematical model. And similarly, all the machine learning service providers will have their model parameters that that's unique to them only. So uh, those three parameters will also be divided into uh, three different parts and like stored in there. Uh, from these ends, uh, individual outputs will be generated from these three servers. Mm -hmm. And once that is generated, from our end and from the service provider's end, those results will be shared with the client. And then that they will actually reconstruct the entire result. And what about stuff like HIPAA compliance and all? Okay, so uh, right now there are a lot of compliances. Uh, HIPAA, GDPR, uh, PCI, yeah. CSA, uh, whatever that. But all those things are actually targeting the storage of the data. What we are trying to do in here, when you have the data, you want to perform computation on that data, how can you secure that? I mean, right now, okay, uh, it's different than encryption. Encryption actually helps you safeguard your data from hackers. What we are trying to do is to safeguard your data from your service providers, whom you might trust or not trust. That's, I mean, it's your choice whether you want to. <laughs> How did you came up with this idea? Okay, so I uh, yeah. I think like uh, that's the sorry, beginning of I'm my story. Sorry, sorry, so uh, uh, I actually, I mean, before this, we are building the OCR software for a hospital that can convert handwritten prescription into type version. <laughs> and then for this actually, I mean, after two I months of time. Yeah, I get that's it. It. thanks. In the financials was, can you go there? Okay. So this 4 CR is for how much equity? Uh, should I disclose it right now? Just uh, idea. What, okay, ten. What is not to disclose? Ten. You have to disclose it. Okay. Yeah, ten. Ten percent. Forty is here straight away. Yes. Off the ground. Because like uh, these kind of technologies are. Uh, okay, I'm not uh, kidding okay, like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> and you are going to uh, so for the question. So yes. This is the whole numbers are in dollars or no uh, rupees. So uh, okay. Okay, so these are in rupees, like not in dollars. Uh, only the five hundred dollars per month revenue is that's in rupees or uh, dollars. Yeah. So your salary year four thousand. Would be 54,000 rupees. Sorry? Your salary in the year one would be 54,000 rupees. So we are not actually going to take salary. I mean, that's that's fine. Just two of you. Yeah. Right, and that's it, basically. And there's no uh, Actually, uh, we have added all those things in marketing. So, uh, like, there is a kind of. Okay, 54,000 is not our salary as such because, like, we might take grants for that. Okay, that can let's, cover let's the salary. Go to the third year. Let's go to the third year. Yes. Right? How does it look like? Well, your revenue is 24 crores. Okay, 45 times. 7 lakh. It's 7 lakh rupees salary. No. So it's 2 crores revenue. Um, uh, 3 2 crores revenue. So it's a 2 crores. So 2 crore revenue, but you're still not taking any salaries, even in third year. Okay. Uh, even in fourth year. Okay. Because like, uh, I mean, uh, we have actually uh, divided that in a different head. Like, uh, 
I may not remember which head, but like in marketing, yeah, R and D and marketing, like we have actually divided in that. So, chart program, but get the use करने वाले हैं बेटी। कैसे मतलब? मुझे एक ही time पे how you going to use that? So, और दो करोड़ रखे हैं कि prototype के लिए, I mean building के लिए। अभी तक कितने लगाए हैं आपने? अभी तक कितने लगाए? Okay, so we have been giving out time, and also like जितने भी time अच्छी से बाकी सीखें। Is your OCR company short now? No, 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 it's still operating. Like actually, Aisar Mohali is one of our clients. So the first, I mean, let me tell you what I'm going to do first. So the OCR company is also both of you, and it is fully open. No, no, no. Actually, OCR is different compartment. Okay. But like, I'm going to do first. I'm going to build this. We'll try to sell the best OCR ever that can get give you results without even seeing your data. So that's the first. So that four CR will go into the OCR. No, no. Fort Road update, that's what I mean, that's what I mean. Fort Road utilizes Fort Road investment. So that's the entire thing. Like we'll use it for framework building, that can do it for one framework, and then we'll build a compiler that can make it scalable for all the kind of frameworks, and then other heads may ask. तो <laughs> 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 I will pay you five hundred thousand dollars if I start making money from the government because I moved on to your platform. So there was a because a forty-seven company model has such a big risk of failure. But if I shut down, what do we do? Okay. So there was an uh, another alternative. Like initially, we were actually starting with ten percent commission. Uh, like what about you competition? Like let's say there are a hundred thousand competition you are performing and you are generating. दस करोड़ आप उससे जनरेट करो। वेट आप बनाते हैं। कमीशन नहीं बना रहा हूँ ना। इनिशियली ये ठीक है। I'm just giving you this thing। Why are you not targeting U.S., Singapore, India? हम यूएस में टाइम। Ten twenty thousand companies। Your five year plan is for forty seven companies। हाँ। The whole business model will flip if you are saying। Five year plan is for what? You want to target forty seven or two forty seven? No, no, two forty seven. Five hundred, five hundred companies। If you start thinking I want to target Five thousand products. Actually, plan always change. Huh. I mean, initially we are just validating. I think so because because I was doing some homework a couple of weeks back. Yes. We forget the companies also. If you only crash it, then only you are made company. You will go to IPO. If you only get defense in India, so we are trying to do that. The point is correct. They will not give the data out. I mean, that's a big issue. Yes. And the other sensitivity part is, but we'll go offline to see the model. Yesterday, national logistics policy has been released. You target only logistics in India. It's the kind of data they are generating. Yeah. What they want to do with it, like defense. That will obviously, I mean, वो time के साथ पता चलेगा कि किसने जाना चाहिए. I mean, अभी तो I can't think in my head कि क्या करना चाहिए. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone. We make creative, innovative, and nature-inspiring office use essentials.
Good afternoon, everyone. We make creative, innovative, and nature-inspiring office use essentials. We, we are travelers. Corporates can avail CSR benefits. We provide financial independence to economically weaker women. Now let's talk about the problem. So there was a group of economically weaker section women who approached us and didn't want to do some other people's home home chores. Instead, they wanted to become financially independent. So in that case, our company came in. We provided them skills, creativity, and training. Through that, they could make a product and become financially independent. And we also were able to showcase our Indian creativity to the cooperates and the enterprises. Now let's talk about the market opportunity. The global office supplies market is worth $130 billion in 2021, and projected market size is $170 billion by 2028. Now over to this. So now talking about the marketing plan, there are three different ways with which we market our plan. The first is we are having our own website. Second, there are social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, and other areas. The third is strong referrals and references. Also the word of mouth. Now currently we are at the MVP stage and further we are planning that we will soon got registered on Amazon. Now talking about the sales, it's been five months that we have started our company and in this five months our total sales is of 2.4 lakhs and the major locations that where we sell our products is the Tri-City. Apart from it, we do exports in North America, Middle East and Asia. Now talking about the operations, as we said, we uh, find women in uh, villages that are not economically uh, independent. So what we do is we source raw materials from the Tri-City and Patiala itself and then we train those women. Now combining those raw materials and the training, we, the women manufacture the products for us and we act as a facilitator between those women and the corporates and enterprises where we sell our product. Warehousing of the product, right now we are not having that much volume of products. So we are keeping our products in the college campus itself. After that, we ship it if it's an abroad, like we get an order from abroad. Otherwise, we do it a direct sale in the local market. Now for further, I would like to hand over to Logan. As you got told, in 5 months we made a revenue of 2.4 lakhs, on which an expenditure of 1.3 lakhs was made. We forecasted that after 5 months we have an ROI of 150%, but today we have an ROI of 174%. Uh, currently, we are buying the raw materials in retail. That's why we are buying it at comparatively higher prices. If we make, if we make the bulk purchase, then we can buy the raw material at comparatively lower prices, and we can make more profits in that. We bring creative innovation to office use essentials for corporates while providing financial independence to financially weaker women. How many number of units they have sold till date? Number of units? Uh, I guess it's exactly around uh, 250 uh, raised coasters, the coasters that we have, and around 100 of trays. Yes. So you are just a facilitator, you are not manufacturing those things. Right? Mm -hmm. So we, we provide the raw material to the women, the weaker section women, and they make it for us. So, so you buy raw material yes, first everything is from done your right. own pocket? Yes. And then you provide them? Yes, and then they make it. So you are getting the job work done? Yes. And so then we provide them with So them. if you get an order, so how many units you do? 250 units. 250 units, 5. If I give you order of 10 lakh units, so how you will get it done? We, we hire more, we approach Will you more. able to hire more people within that time? If I am giving you order of 10 lakh units now? We also have a team that earlier we used to produce ourselves. After that we trained the women. So you will go, to, how you will go? Then you will go to automate? This is the If you want to scale, so I am talking about the scalability. So if you want to go to scalability, what will you do? Whether you have that so much demand or then you will go for automation because you need profits. So we'll you go for automation. We'll increase the uh, enterprise. We'll increase our uh, production process through different areas so as uh, to increase the pr uh, production process and then we can make... Because as I see your problem statement, if you go to your first slide, so it was you were focusing more on women empowerment and things and all. Yes. But once the orders are coming in, you forget about those things and all. You'll go for a scaling because you're getting the orders. You need profits and all. Yes. So how you're going to manage those things? That is the major point you need to work on. Like if we talk about currently, we have thirty students who are running this company. 
Apart from it, if you are talking about the scalability, of, of course we will approach more women and villages so that we can increase our operations. You know, should be you, know which you know which company started out like this? Fab India. Mm -hmm. Fab India started like this 30 years back or 40 years back. They, you know, the guy, William, his father, he saw women in Rajasthan and that's, Fab India started like this. That's a real... Uh, okay, but what I want to understand from you guys is, uh, two questions. First of all is, you know, you're talking about CSR. Yes. On one side. Why are you really focusing on CSR when we are telling, whatever sales you're saying, uh, I don't really see anything reflecting as CSR there. Like, if I talk about a product, mm -hmm. if its cost is nine, like selling price is 900, out of it, two to 300, we just give to the women who manufacture it. Mm -hmm. So, up, up, uske, uske we have like 400 is the raw material cost, and whatever is left, like two to 300 rupees, that's the profit. But when we're talking about CSR, then I don't you think the whole money should go to that woman? In the CSR case, yes, the, women, the money would go to women. In that case, just the raise and cost, we'll, like the profit we'll keep, and the CSR will give it to the women. But why do you really want to uh, label it as CSR? I mean, why are we really trying to touch certain points which may not really we be? The, the, purpose is, the purpose is to make money, right? You're here for making money. Why give it the name of a CSR? So we started with that only. We want to <laughs> All right. provide back okay. to the society. Let's go, let's go forward. Uh, trying to understand more about your business model. Uh, what is this, uh, the idea you, you pitched in front of us? So, as a result, what are you looking at? Some sort of funding or what? We want to increase our, uh, uh, the production process, so we need more warehouses, so as we need funding for that. If I look into your numbers, the way you're growing, 150% ROI. Yes. I don't really think you need money if you try to multiply your numbers. Have you tried to do that? Do you really want to part with your equity even one rupee? The partner said six months, he said, because the published number was 150%, probably he said 170%. Yes, that means the yes. next month it has already become 170. Yes. So, so if I really look into those numbers, I think you guys are financially so well off and already, you know, invest a few lakhs and make it, uh, okay, you know, it. Within, within one year a five lakh of rupees is going to be 15 lakhs. Of course, financially if we are good, but the main <laughs> purpose is that, of course, we'll seek out for more women, right? We, the main focus is, of course, the employment and providing the financial independence. <coughs> so with that, this financial stability and getting more funds, we will be able to approach more women and train them. Yeah. And after that, we're also uh, thinking of adding new varieties to our product line. How do we see a number? Like, what do we see? How much what do you are need? And uh, what is how? So we want to ask me how much money you are looking for right now. <laughs> so ten years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so around two point five lakhs. Mm -hmm. You know, lakhs. there's yeah, a that's scheme. what I'm trying to understand. Yeah. Now, can I get to your numbers? That slide. And in yeah, the, yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> so you just six months. You have already made how much? One point one lakh. Another six months, the way you're growing, you're already getting maybe, you know, two and a half lakhs that you need. Just to be uh, increasing our production. Well, I'm trying to see your students. Yes. Yes. I actually want to, you know, broaden your horizon that you're talking 2.5 lakhs or whatever. Whereas this business that you're doing probably could be in crores. Yes. See, one thing, I'm just add here that Tomorrow, a housing society asks you for trades or anything else. I'm assuming you can also build that. Right? Yes. yes. So your investment is actually in skilling. You are skilling women. Yes. There are one million SCG women in the country, self-help group women. Yes. You want to take a platform to them and train them in building products. Yes. So you are not actually selling trades. You are building a platform for skilling women. Yes. Your 2.4 can only become 2.4 crore if you have a pipeline of women. That means where should your investment go is in the skilling platform for women. Then you can actually build a Fab India level company. Because Fab India doesn't sell one thing. It sells home furnishing, curtains, it does everything. We are ready to increase our yeah, production. So your price. whole premise is not selling trades. Yes. It's selling <coughs> rural, lower income women. Yes, that is the main you said yes to everything. <laughs> he said one separate storyline, and he said one separate storyline. You said yes to everything. You need to actually first figure out what is it, what is the path you want to kind of pursue, 
if I see now the value is coming up, if I were running a business, right, this is a great opportunity to cash in right now. You know, CSR funds, everything, you can, your trays, posters, uh, these make great uh, corporate gifts, right. Uh, to scale quickly also, you could have kind of reached out. But now, what, I guess the premise of it all is you first need to figure out what is the path you want to kind of pursue. And then, uh, think a part of the startup is also your story, right? Uh, what is it, your culture, your ethos, right? So you need to kind of work And how you are registered? You are registered as a company, partnership? Company. Some private limited yes. or NGO? No, no, a company. Private limited company. company. Private limited yes. company. You know, there is a scheme called Stand Up India for Women, where you get one crore rupees as a loan at a 8 to 9 percent or lesser than that also. So you are spending in stocks and all everything. You can easily get that also. So if you don't want to go for uh, investments, if you don't want to dilute your equity also, you can easily get that also. If you are sure about 150 percent, that's it. So you are just paying 9 percent per annum. And it less than 0.75 percent per month. Amazon has a program called Amazon Carrier also. Amazon Carrier. They, they do and that's their agenda to you know, work with self-help groups and, and Amazon Carrier. Have you taken any grants till then? No, no, I think it's a very initial stage. Yes, so yes, anyway, yes. anyway, the good thing is, you know, coming to this competition, what is basically is you've got some information yes. and that's something, a starting point for you guys, that how you can really make this business big. You're thinking too small for this right now, maybe you're not clear about it. Probably you need to sit with someone and see that, okay, how can you really scale it up to that level? <coughs> All you need, all you need, is a good mentor from you know Kant and uh, these guys who have really organized it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. And I'm Sultan Singh. And we are the founders of Trendly, your friend for the weekend. Now, before I tell you what Trendly is, I want to tell you why we started it. So most of the people in metro cities, tri cities, and even global cities. They are not from their own hometowns. They usually come from outside places. And one problem that we all face majoritarily is we do not know what to do on weekends. We do not have plans for it. We are usually get bored because we are in new cities. We don't know the people. We don't have our usual friend circles. And I also face this problem after the COVID pandemic because of that our social life had, had been affected. So, facing that problem, I created Trendly, a platform for, for people and corporates to socialize. So what we did was, uh, we created an app for people to socialize at, through events and parties. And we, apart from this, we also help you to plan your weekend activities and decide your weekend plans. And apart from that, we are also we also have the smaller events like the people who can't, obviously can't come on book my show because of the high percentage fees. We empower them through our technology and apps to better market their events, providing them with CRM so they can have repeating customers. So that's our why we want people to to be actually happy rather than scrolling social media on the weekends. So here's our mission and vision statements. So what do we want to be in the next five to 10 years? So what I expect this, my company to be is, let's say I'm in Las Vegas, let's say I'm in California, San Francisco, new cities. I don't know anyone there. I just want to open my app and see what's happening new in the city, new events, and go socialize with people there. Because when you go to new places, you, you, you can only explore the new places there, but not the people. So I want to make an app that, that socializes people through new events and new experiences. And, and our mission, how we are doing that right now? We are doing that right now by empowering the small event organizers, by giving them the tools and technologies to make their events better. And, and in order to help them market it better through technology and our app. And this is our QR codes to follow us on Instagram and you can also scan this to download our app. And now is the most important part. How are we doing all this? So first of all, we created an iOS and Android app that, that is in production right now in both the stores and working. And we are 
focus, this is our main focus on the top, providing people with unique and consistent experiences in our locality. We are starting with hometown Chandigarh. We, we are starting to focus on newer events like movie in a car. Uh, that happens a lot, I have seen a lot on Netflix, but I haven't seen much of it here. One in Picardilla has been there, but it, it hasn't gained that much traction. So we want to do new and new kinds of events that generate interest, that brings people out of their homes on a boring weekend and make it memorable. And we also want to host our own events and also provide small event organizers to collaborate with us. That's where the real scale is. And we want to partner with existing businesses in the industry because we are not fooling ourselves. We know there is a lot of event, event organizing companies. We can't just uh, dismiss them. So we are partnering up with major event organizers in Chandigarh and major clubs like Playboy Clubs, Kakuna, to organize big events that can really help people enjoy. And that's it. Okay. So right now what we are doing is, uh, and what we are going to do is that we have already uh, Developed an easy event hosting and our uh, competition, and we are going to develop a marketplace where we are going to get uh, get all the venues and services related to events on board our app, so they can interact with each other and hire each other for their events. Then we have a collaboration tool, which is a part of the marketplace. It's a way to interact with each other. It's like a chat, chat room, like, just like Discord. Then we are going to introduce a subscription model, where people can uh, subscribe to our app. Uh, and, um, and get exclusive deals on events and services provided on our app. We also are uh, developing a customer relationship management tool which will enable the event uh, managers or organizers to get repeat customers for them. We already have a ticketing uh, system on board our app. We have an free invites to get influencers or local celebrities to your events so you can better market your uh, events. We are also focusing on data collection and uh, we have an instant payment. Okay, sure. Instant payments are settlement. Uh, we also have integrated instant payment settlement. Usually, the competitive apps like Bookmash or Paytm Insider take around 15 to 20 days to settle your payments. And we are also going to uh, integrate a marketplace wallet with the help of Razorpay, which will enable us uh, to enable people in the marketplace to pay, pay over our app. And I want to add more to this. So, subscription model. No one is doing this, and I want to tell you why. The event business is a transactional business where you pay for an event, you go, you enjoy, and you come out of it. We are changing this with subscription. We want people to remember Trendly. So when you are subscribed to us as a user, you can skip the long queues at events. You can have major discounts and major advantages at our party, which really makes our brand rememberable. And the marketplace wallet is a really financial, financial up thing because here we retain money in our app and we can put it to different uses. So in marketing, we are using to go for interactive and organic marketing. We are going to create some social media challenges related to parties and events. We're going to do, uh, we're going to make playlists of trendy to uh, playlists on music, uh, major music streaming apps. We're gonna start a trendy podcast. We're gonna that, and the organizer who host events on our app and the organizer we hire to host our events are going to market those events, which will get us recognition as an uh, ticketing and event organizing tool. And so that's the our marketing strategy, and we have our pricing and revenue. So we are going to charge five percent flat commission from our customers, but and we are not going, we're not going to charge any money from the people who host our events on our app. We are going to give ad options uh, to ad options for our, uh, event organizers so they can make their events on the top on our app. They're going to be subscriptions, and we are going to make profits from our from the parties we host and interest of uh, uh, making interest from the money we save up from the payment uh, market. Yes, sir. So right now we are planning to capture the Tri-City area in the next three months and move to metro cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Bangalore in six months and be a global brand by the next five years. And, and about funding, I'll take this. So this right now we have invested over 60k in operations like organizing parties, running Instagram ads and everything. And I have personally coded the entire app, the website, and the backend. So that's two, lakh, two lakhs of sweat equity, sweat equity right there. And what we are looking, at, looking for is 25 lakhs in funding. That's 
for the next four to five months where we are using this money to expand in Tri-City, really bring our name forward to people and be a go-to place for events and parties in the Chandigarh area. And uh, we are unsure what the right type of investment will be, so that's where what we are here for, to seek guidance and uh, take the best path forward. Uh, and that's it. Thank you. Uh, my background. So, I'm I'm a BCA second year student, but I work full time in a San Francisco technology startup as a software engineer. Working from home. Yes, working from home. Yeah. Um, I'm just passed on my complete my bachelor business administration and um, family businesses. So this two lack of equity at how you given how many shares? Okay, oh, the, the, the part, it's a private limited company, so he uh, like he so owns like sixty to uh, to like he could be how many shares he given thirty percent. Uh, sixty percent uh, his and forty percent myself. He is basically oh, no. given it to himself only. So so that we have written two lakh of sweaty. So it would be like the uh, the uh, so we have uh, well we have, uh, app in house. Who has developed it? I it's have coded the entire app. So, so two lakh is to you. Uh, yes. Which is like the sixty. So that's why he wants the sixty percent. So is it is it running or? Yeah. Yes. It is running on okay. iOS and app, uh, Play Store both. You can download with the link and you can use the app. Uh, actually, what is some placeholder events you can uh, see the workflow. How many downloads have you got with it? So I'm just curious on different yeah. platforms. Uh, one month of operations we have we have launched in August and close to five hundred downloads right now. Okay. And we have uh, organized two events, uh, so to get it, to know the uh, know and to, to know our market and know our shortcomings. So we have a so regular we better, well, yeah. hosted two events in Chandigarh only, and we have learned a lot from that. So we are, so that's why you know we started customer relation management because we underst understood the market better in the last one month of operations that we were there. So what was the last operation? The last event, right? The last one was in uh, the Ward 26, uh, Karanandava Singer. Well, we got the kind of singer and we watched the event at uh, it was Saturday night event. So how much revenue did you got? We break even. We didn't make a lot. But how of money. much? How much cost? Twenty thousand sales. Twenty thousand sales and yeah. twenty thousand cost. So no, expenses were company uh, total operation cost where we break even. Marketing the event, so we we break even on that event. So then we found a problem with the with the people we hired to organize the. How much uh, equity are you giving for twenty five lakhs? Right now we are undecided on that. We need guidance exactly why how how to go about it. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, so because you are not clear about your valuation also and twenty five lakhs also, right? so how much amount you are looking for is also not clear. So I can help you out, but again, it's not how much you are looking for, but how much you are needed. So okay. what are we we have to first see how much you actually need it, okay. and then we can work out, and then on the basis we can. Invest, we can help investors to get in and also the mentorship because the business models, everything need to be worked out. Sure. So I can help you in that process. That's it. Thank you. Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ayush and the startup. My startup name is Krishi Sansar. In COVID times, we get to know that uh, we only need food and shelter. That's, uh, that's are the very basic requirements for a human being. So my startup is going to deal with the farmers who are making food for us. It is one complete shop for the farmers' need. The problems with, uh, what farmers are facing right now are the high prices of agriculture inputs. They have to put into farming. They also lack knowledge about uh, the right way of farming and uh, new better ways also uh, the government aided shops uh, providing the solutions to the farmers helping farmers are very f less and they are very poorly located so uh, people getting benefit from them are very few and uh, there are options uh, absence of one stop shop uh, the shop where a uh, farmer can find whole uh, complete package of their crop like the seed, fertilizers and other all small tools things. The solution for these problems are affordable prices, convenient and ordering system. One more problem is there that the farmer you have to carry the heavy bags 
heavy loads of the agriculture uh, agriculture inputs like seeds the bags are of uh, 25 kg or 50 kg they do not have a uh, correct medium to take it to their fa farm or take it to the place where they used to keep it they have to travel on two wheelers mainly and uh, getting uh, creating one stop shops uh, where the sh all the products would be at uh, would be available at one pr one place only and uh, getting advices from the expert so that they know what are the better ways or new technologies that are been put into the farming earning uh, there are two methods uh, my startup is going to earn money first one is licensing fees it is the one time fee and another one is the monthly royalty fee it is a recurring revenue so uh, the people who are going to my franchise my franchisees would be paying me some amount of uh, money from their profit or a fixed amount from the their profit every month so it is a recurring revenue also the risk involved in this business are changing government policies government can change some policies which could disturb our market uh, then uh, uh, competitors with huge capital invest investments uh, my usp is affordable prices and excellent customer service so if someone comes with a huge capital investment they can also disturb my market and uh, somehow they can create a monopoly but i have i have a fast mover and fast mover advantage also so till now uh, when someone would be coming till now i would be in a better place and i would be in a better po position to also degree or com competitive pricing i can do and uh, farmers can also go online i am a cse engineer so i can easily create a website or an app so i can also provide that support to the farmers if farmers uh, uh, get the habit of uh, buying online things size of the market we have four competitors here government source private source online source and some other franchisee government source have uh, affordable price but the the discounts they are getting are uh, on a very different basis like uh, if a farmer goes to buy something he buys it on full mrp and then the subsidy comes to his account sometime it take very long period of time so it is of no use at that time and then private source they sell it on mrp that they lack uh, affordable price online sites uh, they can't uh, they do not uh, have the favorable buying pattern of the farmers currently farmers uh, buy things on, uh, offline only there are very few people that buy things online and basic uh, and uh, agriculture inputs are very very less people that wants to buy online because they trust on physical source basically and other franchisee are poorly located and they do not offer such affordable prices also then innovation is competitive pricing that is affordable pricing i would be uh, centralized purchasing the agri goods and uh, giving them to the franchisees and they would be selling it to the farmers at very affordable price another one is one stop shops and another one is convenient ordering and uh, delivery systems it would be a home delivery system and it uh, farmer can order the agri inputs through phone calls and it okay. it would be delivered to them in uh, just 12 hours because they would call the franchise shop owner and uh, nearly located to them and he can easily distribute them in within the 12 hours time period scalability uh, my business follows franchise model so it is a very scalable model and uh, it would be four four model franchise owned and franchise operated then again creating hubs and spokes a uh, hub would be created in a at a district level and a few spokes would uh, some 50 spokes or many other franchises can be related to a one uh, hub franchise master franchise basically then uh, currently i have started in roorkee uh, my city and uh, i can scale my business through increasing product line also and uh, increasing the franchise number of franchises also a thing my team consists of me i'm the founder and i'm currently pursuing btech my father is there he is bachelor in agriculture and he is government officer also in uttarakhand state government 
so he is providing me a lot of uh, research experience i have with, because of him entry barriers that can, i can create are the economies of sale first then a strong distribution network would be built i would be giving the maximum profits to the uh, franchisee so they do not uh, Uh, get into a trap of some other franchisee, or they just leave my franchisee. They break the contract or something. Uh, excellent customer service again. The delivery system and uh, I have the first mover and fast mover advantages also. Traction till now I have gained proof of concept from 200 farmers. I have talked to them. They like the idea. They said that Sir, they. Oh, so they said that ye they face the problem of heavy prices that they have to uh, put into the farming and if they do not get the return it would have a great loss to them <coughs> then uh, i have made an effective and sustainable business plan i started groundwork till now i have convinced 10 uh, franchisee shops to be uh, 10 uh, people to be my franchisee and uh, the criteria that i am going to put on uh, creating franchisee is different uh, like uh, एक किसी गांव में गए हम तो वहाँ पे एक पर्टिकुलर शॉप होगी कुछ बहुत सारी पर्टिकुलर शॉप्स हो सकती हैं जो एग्रीकल्चर इनपुट सेल आउट कर रही होंगी मैं उन शॉप्स में से किसी एक को सेलेक्ट करके रेंडमली उसे फ्रेंचाइजी क्रिएट करूँगा बिकॉज उसकी वहाँ पे मार्केट uh, रिसर्च मेरे से ज़्यादा है एंड आई वुड बी गिविंग बेनिफिट्स टू हिम लाइक इंक्रीज इन प्रॉफिट इंक्रीज इन टारगेट ऑडियंस इंक्रीज इन हिस कस्टमर्स एंड गिविंग हिम आ ब्रांड नेम ऑल्सो एंड and if uh, like we are shifting to online things also so a small shop cannot host a website and these things so later on when uh, farmers go online i would provide that support also to him so it is a win win deal for him also funding i need is uh, is between 10 to 15 lakhs and it would it is needed for legal expenses office space maintaining low prices also i first i have i can't buy great amount of uh, agri inputs so i have to put uh, money from my pocket to maintain the low prices also and uh, employ training and hiring of these things so that's all thank you i don't understand what are you doing sir is me nahi aaya ki aap kya kar rahe ho usme sir actually i'm uh, uh, eliminating the middleman i'm not taking uh, but i'm being a middleman also but to buy see let us say my franchise yeah to provide me you know low cost agri inputs you will have to invest a lot in working capital to buy from somebody yes sir for aapko working capital to bahut aana chahiye nahi franchise jo material mere se lega ya main jahan main usko se lunga uska wo pay karega wo amount wo jo buy basically the aggregator this is a major role of rts and all they give you a loan small loans इसी वजह से मिडिलमैन को कोई हटा नहीं पाया क्योंकि जिस टाइम जितना पैसा चाहिए वो देते हैं तो मटेरियल भी देते हैं इफ यू गिव ऑन अ प्लेटफॉर्म दे हैव टू बाय इन फ्रंट अप फ्रंट फ्रॉम यू और उतना उनका पैसा हो जाए तो दैट इज अ मेजर एक आपने ग्राउंड पे कुछ किया या इट्स जस्ट अ रिसर्च वर्क ओनली सर आई हैव टॉक टू 10 पीपल हु आर रेडी टू बी एंड आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट फाइनेंसेस टू देम आल्सो दे सेड दैट इफ आवर कस्टमर इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज सो वी कैन पे इन एडवांस आल्सो Some of the part can be paid in advance. Ground paying, yeah, but it's just just a discussion part only. Yeah, sir. Or done in uh, ground. Yeah, like, discussion part. Yeah. Any more questions? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Thank you.